Alright, welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game live stream. Today we have John DeClaire with us and just Josh over there. We're going to be playing the game Dead Reckoning. But because we've had a slow start, because we were learning the rules of the game, we didn't not want to make the mistake of... We lost track. We lost track of time a little bit when I was teaching. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, it's just how, how fun and exciting this is going to be. But we've learned the game, and we've, we, we are ready now to play. We're just waiting for Kelly to go ahead and share this game, this video out, and as well as you guys to share this as well. Uh, we will be doing a giveaway this stream, as always, and John was kind enough to bring over Mystic Veil for giveaway. This is his game. He designed uh, what year? How long ago was this one? This came out in 2016. 2016? It was... Um, uh... It was actually my second game published, but the first one that anyone um, knows about. Okay. Um, uh, and it's the first card crafting game, which is relevant to the game we're going to be playing today. And I can talk about it more if you want, but yeah. Cool. Uh, well, you you've, you've actually have quite a <sighs> repertoire. Is that the is that the word for many games that you have made? Um, I know you developed I, quite a. I think this catalog. is going to be catalog. I think yeah. this is going to be game eight. Eight published game. Yeah, this is my eighth published. And, and actually, actually, this is going to come out. This, this will probably be my uh, tenth published game because I've got two games uh, on the docket that will probably be on sale in retail before this one reaches Kickstarter backers. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's. I've been blessed with getting to, to come visit out there and check out some of the other games. I'm excited for one of them in particular, but I don't know if we can even talk about that. Yeah, we can talk about it if you want. The little, little Cubitos. The Cubitos. Yeah, it's little, coming, little it's dice chucker right. racing game. Yep. Is that one? Is that one going to Kickstarter? Or is that one going to be just retail? Or um, what are we can do? Subject to change, but the current plan is a. It was supposed to be at the Gen Con release this year, which yes. means it would be happening in like a month. Um, uh, it was going to be released there, like for sale. It was, it was going to be a Gen Con release um, originally, yes. Like actually for sale. That's right, absolutely, yeah. So it'd be. So out. it's close then. Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay, because last I played cool. the game in two or three separate occasions, and each time we were playing with like paper stuff going on, like no paper dice and all yeah, that yeah, kind of yeah, thing. It is the Perfect art's done. Models. It's ready to go. Uh, oh okay. Yeah. So, so it's, it's going to be a Gen Con release. Um, twenty twenty is a is a pretty unusual year, so. Um, Everything on AEG's schedule pretty much got pushed back, including Cubitos. Um, so now it's going to be released, um, it, uh, unless schedules have changed since the last time I talked to them, sometime at the end of October is the plan. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, that one is a, I call it like what, like a, a you're, 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 it's kind of like a little mix of Couriers meets a racing so, game. Yeah, so it's, if you play, if you know these games, this analogy works. If you don't know them, it doesn't. But it's like Quacks of Quidlinburg meets Automobiles and Warriors. Yes. I love quacks. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, he had the privilege of teaching what, it last teaching, year at Gen Con. Yeah, he went, we, we, knew, we knew some people, we still know some people from um, North, Star. North Star Games, and we, we asked, hey, we need a ticket for him. Uh, he'll he'll work. He'll work his butt off for yeah. a ticket. So mm -hmm. he sat there teaching quacks and uh, evolution. Contact. Four and, hours, a few times a week there. Yeah. 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 So it was cool. cool. So, yeah, we get to, they, he did that. I played there. Dude. Dude is awesome. Dude. 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 <laughs> <laughs> So I actually I, I usually see you at cons, but you're just like running places. You're not like at the booths or anything like that. You just no kinda... no yeah yeah. I think we run to each other a bunch at like Strategic Con out here. I saw you um, at Gen Con and... too, didn't I? Yep. You were right. you were like so I do gotta go. <laughs> I, I, I'm often at the AEG booth demoing games. Um, uh, when they're showing they did this weird thing last Gen Con, which seemed to work well, where they did they featured a different game at their booth every day of the Gen Con. Um, That's so cool. yeah, so I had a game featured on two of the four days of Gen Con. So I was there demoing those days, um, but uh, the other days I was running around the show and trying games and doing some pitching and stuff. Nice. Uh, most, most. There's a lot of games there to try. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There you are. Good, good. Peoples, peoples, peoples. I'm gonna turn the volume down. Make sure I didn't goof any of that stuff up. Okay, we're looking good. Hey, I, Carly, Patricia, all you yes, guys. Yes, the background is new. I went on Twitch today, unfortunately. I, I tried setting the stream up, and it was giving me some errors, and then it was already running late, so because <laughs> of just that, get things I just pushed it to get things running on Facebook. So I apologize. I will upload to YouTube, though. So we'll, we'll have this full playthrough on YouTube, and luckily, because I'll be on the side over here, I'll be able to organize the camera. You'll be able to see things closer up. So there's some benefits to, to uh, me working with Callie. Uh, we're also not going to really explain the rules to the game. We're going to just jump into it. Which, but, is, which I was going to make a suggestion. One of you guys should work with him if he's going to play, because I because he hasn't heard the rules yet. So, kind okay. of so I think what we'll do is we'll have Callie work with him yeah. uh, to okay. start with, and then once he figures it out, he she can jump over on my Perfect. side, and then I'll work with the camera. Yeah. 
Um, so yeah, good evening, good evening, guys. Yeah, please do go ahead, like, share, and comment. I can Hello, change everybody. between Mystic Veil. If you have any questions for John right now while we're waiting to finish this uh, sharing thing out, go ahead and ask him. Uh, I know that uh, Josh has the comments available to him over there on his phone, cool. and you can go ahead and ask John. I think. I think I've if got, you're gonna I've ask, got mine up over here. Right oh, you got there. it as well. So yeah, if yeah, you yeah. want to ask some questions. Like the, it's one of the more. I, I was actually gonna do an, an amazing introduction for him, but I ran. I, I, my, my brain went scrambled. Um, a world famous game designer uh, with sure. many, many awards. One, uh, an award winning designer, John DeClaire. Should have been award winning. And um, Ian O'Toole <laughs> doing the artwork for Dead Reckoning. Also a, a great artist as well. Uh, but yeah, so if you want to ask me any questions, now's the time. I don't think I, like I see you live on stream other than kind of when you come over here. I'm yeah, I don't do a lot of them, yeah. yeah, like, yeah I, did a, I did a podcast this week uh, with the uh, Geek Jock guys. That yeah. was fun. Um, but yeah. Have you done We're Not Wizards yet? Yeah, that guy's fun. I enjoy those. I, I was, did I was he ask you if you're a wizard or not at the end? He did. And what'd you say? Um, I, I don't remember exactly what I said. <laughs> Tell them, I am definitely a <laughs> wizard. Uh, and the, he got in mad training. At me. The, correct, the correct answer is is definitely not a wizard. Yeah, no. I, I said that, and he got mad at me. So I, I realize now that is not the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> That's too bad, though. That's too bad. But yeah, so um, I think we're, we're getting there. I'm going to go ahead and see, make sure my Callie didn't fall into the toilet. And you guys can sit here in awkward silence for a moment while I get something. You get, you're good with drinks and whatever. You're, I'm good, You're yeah. set up. And yeah. Josh, you have your beer. It's Plural. a Corona, so you don't have to actually tell us. Yeah, something special. That. I do have two other backups that are something different. I remember so I'm you're wait. very close to the mic, so don't don't this talk too loud okay. to it. All right, guys. Uh, right yeah, back. Well, while you're gone, so. I could, I'm going to give a quick rundown of the game we're about to play. Good idea. Sounds good. Yeah. Or here's Kelly. Well, I didn't know when you were going to be here. Is it probably? I'm yeah. serious, I know. <laughs> Go ahead and do <laughs> Okay. Uh, so I'm going to give like the the pitch. We're not going to teach. I'm not going. We're not going to teach the whole game, but we'll kind of walk. Th you'll see how the game flows as we walk through our for our turns. Um, uh, but Dead Reckoning is a um, pirate slash privateer game. Love the theme. Um, about amassing treasure. Um, uh, it has a very sandboxy feel to it. Um, it could be described as a 4X, as it kind of knocks off the 4Xs. Um, but uh, if 4X makes you think Twilight Imperium, this isn't like that. Um, uh, so. Uh, the core system of the game is is going to most remind you of a deck builder. Uh, everyone has a single deck of 12 cards um, representing the sailors on their ship. And of course they have a ship uh, miniature on the board representing where their ship is in the, in the world, plus a player ship board here representing all the stuff on their ship. Um, the game flow plays out of your deck of 12 cards. Like a deck builder, you're drawing a hand, playing cards, resolving the cards you play, discarding, and then when your deck runs out, you shuffle and draw. Um, but uh, if you're familiar with how card crafting works, if, for example, you've, you've played Mystic Veil, Mystic the one um, Michael was talking about, um, uh, your deck will never grow or shrink. You will always have your 12 cards. The cards in your deck will merely get better as the game progresses. And there's two actual ways in, the game, in this game that the cards will improve. Through standard leveling up, um, so the cards in your deck are all sleeved, and they actually have to be sleeved for the game to work. That's kind of that's the nature of how card crafting works. And in that sleeve are actually two separate cards. There's a transparent card with an image at the top, represent a, an image of whoever this sailor is, and then an ability card with four different abilities on the front and back of the card. And when sleeved, only one of those four abilities is showing at the bottom. So one of the ways your cards are going to get better is during the game, you're going to take out that ability card and then retuck it in such that the next level is showing and the card gets better that way. The second way cards improve, which is much more, uh, which is the same as how it's been done in other card crafting games like Mystic Veil, vale, you're going to be buying um, advancements and slotting them into the card along with the other cards, adding a new effect to the card. Um, so that's how your deck is going to flow. Um, your deck is going to drive all the things you do, which include sailing out onto the board um, and discovering uh, these undiscovered lands, uh, placing um, influence on islands, which sort of represents you dropping off some of your guys from your ship to establish a camp on the island to forage um, or look for treasure, um, uh, and claiming control of these islands um, and ideally gaining treasure and, and cargo from them, um, purchasing advancements, uh, potentially upgrading your ship, and getting into battles. I don't know if it shows up on the camera. Does that show up on the camera right now? We can. Yes, it does. Okay, so um, 
our ship over here is the, um, the AEG decided to call this the uh, the broadside system. Um, uh, it is a it is a tower, a cube tower of sorts, where you drop stuff in, they fall into the battle board, and that's how you actually resolve battles, by dropping things into that tower. So when you get into a battle, I'll take a certain number of my cubes against whoever I'm fighting, we shake them up and we drop them into the tower, and where the cubes land out is going to resolve the battle. So I think that's a good enough overview for now, if we want to get started. Um, uh, I think what we're going to do is uh, you're going to help with his turns for a bit, since you've oh, actually okay. heard the rules, I can yeah. also obviously help. Okay. Um, uh, yeah. And then, um, and then once you've got a good handle on the game, um, Callie can switch over and help Michael take his turns. Sounds good. Meanwhile, I'll just you know I'll just be doing my thing over here. And uh, <laughs> you do have a question? I'll try what to is... go easy on you guys, maybe. <laughs> yep. so I used to prefer not because I learned better. Over here. It's okay, what is your favorite game that you didn't design? My favorite game that I didn't design. <laughs> it, it so it. A question that's impossible to answer because you need too many other factors. Who am I playing yeah. with? What am I in the mood to mm. play? But games that games that tick off the that are on, that are at the top of my list are um, Seven Wonders. Cool, cool. Love Seven Wonders. Um, and then for two player Seven Wonders Duel, um, I love Scythe um, and Blood Rage. I, that one. Um, uh, I love just simple deck builders. I mean Dominion, um, Ascension. Um, I, I like meaty euros. Um, really enjoy. Um, uh, I really enjoy Glenmore, the new Glenmore two. Yeah. Yeah. Glenmore two. I'm kind of. I kind Chronicles. Of well, Glenmore two Chronicles. So good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, I know, have it actually. And then I illustrations, right? I mean, illustrations. <laughs> so I kind of hit the spectrum, but yeah. Actually, a game I think it's okay. you awesome. gotta have good games for every yeah, uh, group. Or mm. A much guys, forgotten right? game that probably makes my top ten, and yeah. not too many other people's, oh. is Ad Astra. I love that game. Not a lot of people Astra? even heard. Yeah, that I have I not heard of it. One. It is amazing. It's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, you, you're gonna work with him. So okay. okay. Bruno Ferdudi, so he learns. Bruno for is the designer. I believe so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, you're going to work with him. Remember, this is so close to you guys, so don't be yeah. talking super loud. Okay. Um, he can be louder because he's a little farther away. Okay, good. Um, <clears throat> but uh, you will work together with Josh, and once he gets a handle on the game, uh, you will take my space, and I will control the camera and questions and all that good stuff so that you guys can uh, fully go throughout the game. So Everyone, don't be too mean to me at the beginning because this is you. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, our goal is to amass the most treasure. Um which there's some end game scores scores that add, add to it, but we're going to be adding coins to our treasure chest, and we should all have 15 to start. Go ahead and shuffle up your deck and draw your opening hand of four cards. All right. Um, I'll take a cube from each person and just randomize who our start player is. You guys can go ahead and vote on who you want to win. Um, it'll be Josh, uh, Michael, this is and one John. To win, not who you think is going to win. Yeah, who you okay, okay. who you think is going to win should be an easy answer. Me. Yeah. <laughs> I let you have space based last time because last time I felt bad for you. Uh, uh, I picked, I, I, I drew myself as the start player. He knows oh, so what do you these know? games, he knows very well, too. Yeah. So. so, as the start player, I start with one barrel. How did as you a bonus. draw yourself the start player, huh? Randomly. And then um, you get two barrels, and uh, Michael, you get three barrels on your ship to start the game. Pedro, welcome. Thanks for joining us. I'm taking um, my barrels last night. So now go ahead and shuffle your deck. Draw your opening hand of four cards. I will go first. Note, you don't do a level up before your first turn. Okay. All right. Kill this. But uh, the other players do? Nobody no, does no, it before their does. first okay. turn. In a four-player game, the fourth player actually does as they're, as they're going, bo bo going last bonus. Yeah. Um, and one of the reasons for that is is there's three rows, and they don't actually... Like, if we we should also score, mention... This game is on Kickstarter right now. <laughs> yeah. Link is in the comment section. If you are interested in learning more about this game while listening to this playthrough or at any point, go ahead and head over there. And if you want, back it. Check it out. Decide if it's something that you want for specifically for yourself. We turn the gains down a little bit so I'm not killing your ears. Let me know if the audio quality or something like that is going wrong. We'll be, I'll be changing the lights and sure. working on that kind of stuff. And in about 15 minutes of that should just go yeah, away yeah, from yeah, your I'm face. getting hit, but I know it's about to go down. So it's, We're getting there. Um, All right. So yes, I've got my four cards. You got everybody's got their four cards. Yep. Okay. Yeah. This went up on Kickstarter yesterday. So, Whoa, all right. it's, it's doing already... okay too. It's just doing all right. But it had a know. good first day. It was all right. <laughs> yeah. Not, not, all right. not to brag about. I've drawn my hand. Um, 
Did it hit so, the, the minimum first day or something? Or? 15 minutes. We're, we're, oh, cool. <laughs> okay. we're at 300,000 right now. Cool. And Congratulations. Uh, I think or, and a little over 2,000 backers. Or 3,000 backers. So. All right, I've drawn my hand. Um, so I'm going to open... What color am I? I'm purple. Uh, oh, these shouldn't be on the board. They were there for explaining. You guys are all rooting for Cali. I'm liking the theme already, so I'm probably going to back it. Well, so you I'm, and me. I'm going to go ahead and probably play pretty aggressive this game. That's usually my strategy. So, uh, yeah. So I'm going to set my sailing to two, and for those watching, I get to do that because on my ship I have two sails, and I am at port, so this cargo being on my ship doesn't block that sail because I am at a friendly port. So I will set my sailing to two and then go ahead and spend both of it right away. Actually, so before I spend it, I'm going to go ahead and produce... Play cards, right? I'm going to go ahead and produce three cargo. Um, all, when you make cargo, it goes, to your, uh, it goes to your harbor, which is represented either by your little token here or by this by your space on the board but i'm going to use the token because i don't want to reach across the board all game so i made three back at home my ship is at port so i can go ahead and load that onto my ship then i spend one movement point to sail out to see i'm going to go here since i'm here this advancement costs four to buy so i'll go ahead and spend four cargo from my ship and pick up that advancement and then i will spend one more uh two so this is where i'm deciding whether i want to go ahead and explore this which back. is progress towards one of the achievements or just go back to harbor and i would want to go back to harbor because that's where all my new cargo will be produced um i'm going to go ahead and not do the explorer and sail back to harbor so i'm ready to pick up stuff at the end of my next turn um i save this card i'm going to choose not to play it so it's going to be in my next hand I'm done my turn, and as cleanup... Now, this doesn't come... Nothing else comes back here, then, for upgrades? So, as, as parts of cleanup, we're going to pull a new card out of the row one box to refill that. Don't Oops, flip so the cards up, up, over. This way. Uh, it's important to not flip the cards over, like Michael just did, uh, because some of the cards are double-sided. This guy! <laughs> uh, because some of the cards are double-sided, so this is a merchant ship. You can choose to trade with it, in which case you'd just buy the advancement, or you can choose to fight it, in which case you'd flip it over and see how powerful it is and, and fight it. Um, so, that comes out. Um, you guys get to take your turn. Okay. While you're doing that, I'm going to do cleanup, which is I get to sleeve the advancement I bought onto one of the cards I played. I'm thinking these I, two, do, I do I see your guys' comments. We'll get to them as soon as, so we, uh, we'll as, soon as we get through the I discard the, the cards I played, island? and then I draw four claim cards. Claim the island. You add your token oh, okay. to it. So if did I you end up there, playing all of your cards? Or did I, you saved, save? I saved one card. I can't, and note, no. my hand maximum is six. Um, and you draw four at the end of your turn, but not past six. So that's, I saved one card, card drew four, I have a five-card hand now. I have two there already, so that's why I thought, okay, play this like he did. That gets me a barrel on my ship. Mm -hmm. Then do I need this as well, then, to do something there? Uh, you can you do it something there after you move there, yeah. You okay. Can, you can add influence the, um, there. One last important thing for the people in the stream. While other people are taking their turns, in between and before I start my next turn, I can, up, I can level up any one card in my hand. And so I'll show you so guys I'm what that looks like. I'm thinking about that right now, what I want to level I'll show you guys what that okay. looks like. Wait, do you, do you have any sails? No. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So since I've got the two sails on my ship, I'm just parroting off of um, yep. what he did. So I've got two movement Correct. on the green. So I want to move here then to go out to sea. So, um, oh, before, Wait, no, before, so yeah, yeah, before I went into yeah. that. So I get uh, a barrel. One, so it goes to your harbor. Cool. Which means and since you're here. at harbor, you can load it. You got yeah. it. Mm -hmm. And note, note on your ship, you can hold four there. And three there. Okay. These are currently dead zones, which can later be upgraded. Got it. And then cannons. Okay. Uh, by playing this, what does this give me? So you got to move over here first. So um, oh. this lets you place influence cubes on islands. So you could spend one of your sailing power now to, to move out there. to one of those adjacent islands. And note, all three islands oh, in this sorry. first row are adjacent to the harbor board. Okay. And then once you're out here, everything is orthogonally adjacent. Okay. So you can sail to that island, and then you could use that card you had played. Mm -hmm. Cool. It has this little icon on it. Which lets you place with a cube. flag with a cube, which lets you place one of these on the island. So island can hold up to three influence cubes at once. Okay. Um, you don't control the island until you have plurality, including blanks. So currently there's two blanks to your one, so you don't control oh. the island yet. Can I play another one then? You yep. absolutely can. Yes, please. Okay, so you got it. So now you've taken control of this island because you put a second one down. Whenever you take control of an island, you immediately get a bonus permanent cube. So you actually cool. have three to one blank. You now control that island. Okay. Yeah. And every island. single time you control an island, um, you have plurality, you get to place another one of your cubes here, which will increase the number of cubes total, right, that, you, that you'll that you have. So it'll be harder for other people to control it. Does that make cool. sense to you? And now, yeah. and now since it's permanent, you can never get completely bumped out off that, off that island. Okay. Um, which matters because at the end of the game, I'm islands, sore. The, the, <laughs> the points in the top right 
are for most cubes, second most, third oh. most cubes on the island. Okay, I like that. So, right. yeah. So, okay, so I got my barrel, and then what can I buy from the merchant ship? That so there's two things. There? You, there's two things you could do with that merchant ship. You could trade with it or fight it, and it costs three to trade with, um, and it has to come from your ship. Okay. Um, and then you just get this advance here, which produces barrels or lets you place influence cubes. You can just slide this into one of your cards. Yes. Yeah. Or you may choose to attack it. In which case, you flip the card over, and it will tell you how strong it is, and then you battle it. To the best of my knowledge, I have no guns right now, though. You currently have a single gun, which no is not good. <laughs> um, that doesn't mean you will guaranteed lose. Active player always wins ties. But I'm not in a good position. So, you know what? I'm just going to spend the three. And trade with the it? card, okay. yeah. So you, you will buy this advancement? Whenever you buy advancement, you... Sorry. sorry. Whenever you buy advancement, you just set it off to the side for now. And how many, you finish how many advancements can you buy on a turn? Up to two. Okay. Okay. Then Would you like to do I'm, anything else? I have my one other movement, so is it advantageous for me to go back, or...? Oh. Uh, it's what I chose to do. The other, and and potentially good move, is to sail further out and explore. Why is that good? There are nine achievements in the game. Um, they're all worth points to get, and once you get four of them, you've triggered the end of the game. Exploring is one of them, um, and we're in a three-player game, so exploring four total things is going to result in you getting that achievement. Let's go for it. Okay, so you've, but you've you sailed out here. you won't have any barrels. You were correct. You're not going to sure. be able to whatever card reveals, no, no whatever card reveals from this box, you you can't afford because you didn't bring cargo with you on this okay. venture. Um, this is an open sea spot, so it actually produces. So it's actually not an island, which is fine. Um, but note these arrows. It's going to make the production of adjacent islands better. You don't know what that means yet, but you'll figure it out. Okay. Okay. Um, and that was your other movement point. You're now. I don't think there's anything else you can nope. do, right? Nope. Um, so uh, Michael can go. Your mm -hmm. last piece of your turn. And we put a cube over here. Sleeve this onto one of your played cards. Played? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, we put a we put a cube over here as well to signify here you can explore. You got it. All cool. right, so and sleeve it sleeve it in between the ability card and the image card. Sounds so good. So that the the merchant ship image is. Yeah. Yeah. Three cargo there. All right. I'll we'll take these three. Ooh. I'll put them in my sh right, well. I'll put them in my ship now. I won't have any sails though, huh? You're at a friendly port. So uh, you don't your sails don't get blocked as long as you're at a friendly port. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so cool. But, so anyway, I get my I get my two sails though. And I'm playing those three cards. And I can upgrade uh, one of them I played, yes. Uh, no, so you're no, gonna sleep that on and okay. discard them all, and then redraw up re and draw four cards Wait, into your and new hand. Maximum and one six. of those new cards hand. you're gonna level up. Okay. And I would recommend keeping your discard pile face up so that oh, you okay. don't mix it up with your shadow deck. Take it. Right. Yeah. Three, four. All right, I can go two spaces. Do I want to play this card, too? If I play this, I can use it whenever I want, too, though, right? I don't have to. So, for instance, like, if I play this guy out here, this is going to be a cube to place. I can save that while I, on my turn, just moving around, correct? I'm playing sure. it as yellow. So I can move to any of these three. You got it. Um, and what's the wheel do? Oh, it's 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 a mask. It's a Mystic Veil mask. This is, this is things happen when I have this on the card, right? And yeah, this one yeah, is right. place a cube for each cannon. Or on that card, that's right. So that so this ability gives you one influence placement per cannon on whatever card it's sleeved on. That's what the square box means. Okay, it's so like a gunner. Um, and I will note, these are tiered, uh, and you note the boxes repre the reference the specific rows. Cards get better the further out you go, um, uh, but they don't get more expensive. Every advancement in the game always costs between one and four cargo. The downside is you okay. have to spend more turns going further out and or have more up. sales to do it. And, uh, and upgrade, up, upgrades are going to okay. also um, uh, be played on this these guys, the ones I'm discarding, this not on them. Yeah, when you buy advancements, you always sleep so on a card this? you play. Yeah. The so I might, maybe I want to play on a gunner then, huh? That probably would be a good idea, because gunners yeah, no, are going to have cannons on them. not a bad idea. So two cargo from any like messing with me. Oh, this particular okay. card is best on gunners. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm like, is that a good idea? And you're like, it might be. No, Go that, ahead that, and see. That, that particular card is definitely so best. I got, on I got two movements. Cargo that's what's one movement. Do I actually move it down every time I move, or does it not matter? Uh, uh, your technically, okay. but like you don't actually have to do it as long as you use that the right amount of movement points. Okay. So I can take these four here, right? I Location can go ahead and spend them. Yep. It's going to give me this guy for later. So the island. Um, do I want to drop a cube? Now the question That's is, if I, if I, if I drop a cube on this place, right, yep. and I explore the next area, and there happens to not be a location there, the cube is useless. I shouldn't have played the card. Okay. Right. Uh, that's right. If you don't use it now. Oh, you should just so you can play cards whenever you want to. So this is in your hand. 
You can explore, and then but I won't be able to get. If I go here, I won't be able to get back anyway. That's fine, so but, but if you don't play the card, it stays in your hand for next turn. Okay. There's no down. There's really not a penalty, right? Okay. And you don't you don't have to play cards until you want to play. And them. how many upgrades can go on a singular card? Three. And there's a top, middle, bottom slot, and that's with this little bar on the right. Right. Because it's right. kind of hard to visually yeah. see sometimes. So the little bar on the right tells you whether it's a bottom, top, or middle. Right. Bottom. Right. So okay. Okay. Uh, I think I will venture out, and and, and so. It'll be two, three, or four likely for advancements. All, all advancements cost all between right. one and four. I think we're going to advance uh, to the next area. Okay. So you get an explore. Yeah, yeah. You get a little explore over there. All right, now this goes like this. Ah, uh, an open space. You found another open sea. Note there are three in this. There's three total open seas in this game. You found something that costs four. <laughs> I did. Dang ah. it. It's too expensive. Yeah. Um, so I will just keep this card here in my hand. Yep. I'm going to go ahead and dump. These guys are going to go to my discard pile. But I'm going to go ahead and choose to play one of these guys from my discard pile. I'm going to attach this. I'm going to attach this to my gutter. Yeah. And this will go in, top, in the front, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And so this is what it's going to look like, guys, like this. So as you see, there's the upgrade right there that has been attached to the card. It functions very much like Mystic Veil as far as how, that, how it looks. And you're going to literally slide it in just like that, right? So that's done. I've played all my three cards. And then I'm going to draw up to four cards right now while he's doing, while he's doing uh, the beginning of his turn. So, or I'm going to draw four cards, sorry. Yes. And a total of six you can have. And then I'm going to go ahead and select one of these cards. One of these babies here. And let's go ahead so and like, it, actually get a zoom in And we're in supposed here. to do these two, right? Choose one? Uh, oh, that's right. We, we okay. picked okay. one of these. So I, I ended up cutting... Uh, I ended up... Uh, uh, do you tell people what you upgrade or no? Uh, is, it not, is it common knowledge? Is Graveyard common knowledge? People are not... People are. You don't have to tell people what you level up. Um, discard piles are public knowledge, though. But you don't level up cards in your discard pile. You level up cards in your hand before your turn starts. New draw. Right, right, right. But so, so I, you will tell people what you put your upgrades on. People, people are allowed to know what you sleep on. Okay. Yes. Okay. Cool. Sorry. Um, thank you, yeah, Vladimir. We're, we appreciate we're it. We're going to play as long as long as the camera doesn't explode. I think it was just Facebook. So. Yeah. So my turn. Attack. I'm going to start my turn. I unfortunately drew no cards that give me cargo, so I am broke this turn, which is fine. I will set my sailing to two, and then I will immediately spend one of it to sail to this juicy big island. The card I leveled up is the Buccaneer, which gives me two influence. I have a deckhand and another deckhand for a total of four oh. influence. So I can go ahead and take this really big island right away. Yeah. Wow. It is right next to Harbor, so it's pretty vulnerable to counter attacking, but that is okay. I took it, so I get a permanent cube. And then I have in my hand my Purser, which lets me pick an island on the board and produce with it. I will obviously pick the island I just went to. So the island is going to make one cargo and two three money. Three money. Three. It makes three because it gets a bonus from this spot. Oh, yeah. okay. So in general, it'll be one and two, but because it's next to this yeah. space, which yeah. has a little arrow, it's, it's going to make three. Make stuff. I own it. I'm there. I can immediately go load all this stuff on my ship. So I actually ended up with a cargo. Nothing near me costs... Well, this costs one, but I'm not... I don't want it. To, I don't want... It. Ooh, that's actually interesting. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> Huh. Now I know why he's gonna win. He's cheating. That's why he had it all set up for all this. What did I, I had three, uh, three barrels and a move. I'm just gonna sail back home, uh, and end my turn there, uh -huh. which, which lets me unload this cargo into my dock, uh -huh. and the three money I got dump into my treasure chest. I'm done. Okay, uh, I am. And I going... saved one card. There's oh, some, I'm there's some nonsense sailing. going on here. I'm watching you now. Sure. One, two. Kansas City shuffle going on. Okay. Everyone this... looks left, you go right. I got this correct, yeah. One, two, back to port. Yes. Okay. Uh, so there's my two for using that. I am going to then use these. I can help you if you were. Okay. If well, you... yeah, these three crew. So that produces four cargo. Again, back at dock for you. You can jump on Discord, uh, guys. No, we're playing where these crates um, are uh, threes. Okay. Damn, since I'm at port, I can put it on my ship now, yeah? Oh, uh, you're at port? You can load it on your ship. Okay. You have no movement left. Yeah, but I mean, my are not going there. Uh, this spot can only hold a maximum of three. That can hold four. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it doesn't really matter because you, you, oh, you can move okay. things around perfectly freely. But Got this it. spot, Mac, this spot's four. Okay, cool. Would you like to do anything else cool? <sighs> Unfortunately, there's nothing else I really can do. If you have those, so uh, this is your discard pile, right? Yeah. Yeah, if, you're, if those cards aren't useful this turn, just don't play them. Okay. Just hold on next Yeah, time. because okay. because um, if you you can hold two cards at the end of your turn with no draw penalty. So the way it works, the way the way hands works, you will draw four cards at the end of your turn, but you can't ever have more than six. You can't ever draw past six cards in your hand. So if you save three cards, you only get to draw three. But if you save two cards, you still at get the to draw the maximum card, can you four. Discard things you didn't uh, use. You don't want to have uh, the next you turn. May, you may play cards and then choose not to use them, which is the same as gotcha. essentially okay. just discarding them. Cool. In that case, then I'm done. Okay. 
Uh, we are we have a Discord. It's not live on Discord, but you can join us in the live uh, stream chat area if you'd like for, for that. Now I shuffle this. Um, that or both, whatever. Uh, if I have no drop on, it's free. You it's only free. Nothing, you need no cost to that. Got it. Thank and you. you can't. And uh, we we have some interesting things that pop up on there. Maybe well maybe I'll get I'll get John to give us like some type of hint of, of a game that that he can somewhat talk about or I don't know maybe an idea or something. I'm not, our Discord we we have page. people come on or people are starting to have people come on and they're gonna give us little little tidbits of like new games you know okay. things are like teasers a little teaser something that's coming out but not to the point where everybody actually would know so that sure. you don't break any rules but. Sure. That's what. Well, that's the idea of it. So we'll give secret information, but it's also good, good branding awareness. And get you <laughs> stuff. That's all right, is it my turn? Yes, it is your uh, turn. All right, I'm gonna. I'm gonna oh, so this is guys. where you can pick in. I'm gonna smoke, smoke you guys. Yeah, dude. you did. Okay. Yeah, I'm all a pretty right. fast fighter. All right, so it's I'm looking. Oh, you kind of have to be as a teacher now. <laughs> when I have these with these barely bit with these barely barrels, I'm gonna actually need to uh, go and, back to uh, the ports here. You've got a reference card. Or whatever thing levels oh, up. Calories showing me that, yeah. Because I was just pulling cards out trying to look at it. It's like, yeah, yeah. this is, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah first but then I also notice the bottom card, it also tells you the next tells level. Tells you what the like, next level uh, is. Okay, yeah. Observation's Ooh. a good thing if I use it. A lot of good, a lot of good choices here. Now, Some now, right now, I actually idea. do not have the sale, though. I only have one sale. Yeah, you're in an open sea, and you have two things covering that sale. So you can't, uh, you can't unload that onto the island. Um, because you're not at an island, so you actually can't use that sail unless you choose to jettison that cargo back into the ocean. Uh, uh. In which case, it just goes back to the supply. Uh, uh, I ain't doing that nonsense. So if you don't want to lose that cargo, you don't get to use that sail this turn. Oh, am I doing the same thing? No, you're back at harbor. No, you're done. So you're at a friendly port, so you get you get the friendly port okay. bonus, which is you get to use the sails Full regardless. Value. I'm going to okay. have to play everything then, because that's going to oh. bump me up to, to three movement. Uh, Very nice. Yeah, so I'm not going to use this. I'm just going to use the, t the yeah. two movement. Plus one over here is three. Right, so I have my area here three. And then I have these three here. Now, I need to get, in order to get these, I actually have to go back to port, right? Yeah, so those three produce immediately when you play them, and they just go to your port. So, you, yeah. So you can just, like, add a three. Oh, I can just literally put on my port That's here. That's right. Which is cool. Now, if I haven't shown you guys, this this is my port. It literally is the same area as here. But if you're playing over here, like or where he's at... It's in front of you, so you can you can obtain this when you go back. So what I'm going to do, I have three movement. I can't buy this. You so, can't afford it. That's right. So I'm going to go over here. Okay? Explore. That's yep. my first movement. Flip it now, over. You, might no find some, you might find something you can explore. Yeah. I mean, you can afford. There's no reason not to flip it over at this point. You found Fisherman's Cove, which is a big island. Okay, I get to take one of these guys out and put it on here. It costs two. Hey, congratulations. And that is something I can afford, so I am going to spend two here. Uh... Wow, that's actually this is kind of a nice little combo there. You can't afford both. But I yeah. know, I know. I'm going to go over here, and then uh, and that card makes perfect sense how it works, right? Uh, this one here is you can either oh either either or or and or I should say, uh, for each one cargo on your ship. Uh, no, you get a cargo get on your ship for each for uh, every wheel on wheel whatever on... card that is sleeved on. Right, right. So this would give me two two wheels cargo. Meaning that advance alone would put two cargo directly yeah. onto your That's ship. Very, so if very you're like good. way out at sea, you can actually make make cargo straight onto your ship. So you don't have to sail all the yeah, way back. But I can't get it, so I have to go back. That's correct. And I can then put this. Yep. On my ship. And then you're done. And then I'm done, so I can take this. And I put on any of the cards I'm discarding. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and level up a gunner which I was waiting to see, and you're allowed to do this, I was waiting to see if you got rid of that merchant ship card. You didn't. So I'm going to go ahead and level up a gunner to give myself a second can. No, but I want the merchant ship card for later, because I couldn't get him. And I'm going to make three cargo. Now, could I have fought him if I wanted to? The merchant ship on my turn? Uh, oh, first this one's up. Um, yes, you could have chosen to fight him. Um, you would have had one against whatever it has. I'm giving myself slightly better odds than that by having a second cannon on my gunner. So I make three cargo back at home, which I will load along with the one I have, after setting my sailing to three hmm. by playing the captain. So my sailing is at three, I load four cargo onto my ship, and I set sail by spending one movement to go there and I attack that merchant ship. So I flip it over, it is a four, I have two to its four, but I win ties, so um, I, I would say I have a slight disadvantage, but not that bad. Um, so can I show the yeah, we, we, we will. Let me let me Wait. let me let me level my last dude up here. Level two. That's what's up. Okay, and then I'm gonna go over here. 
Uh, so no, it's literally just shows oh, this. Is that a dice it's, tower? So yeah, it's not a this dice is, tower. This is how battles. This is how battles work. Are you okay. going to do so, your own um, so cool. tokens I, as well as the uh, yeah, all at the same time? That's right. All right, so, I'm watching um, you. I had t I had uh, I had so two cool. from my one from my ship and one from my gunner. The merchant ship card that we revealed said four, so I am fighting the merchant ship which had four. I will shake these up and, as the rules say, drop in a neutral manner from the height of the masts. Okay. I did not win this battle. It did not go well for me. That is okay, though. So, um, what we check first is crowns. Well, you check to see if anything needs to be re-rolled. No, so thank you. We check to see if anything needs to be re-rolled. So this is good. Nothing so needs to get re-rolled. There are no exploding good. cubes. So then we set, see one. I, uh, there's one crown for black and no crowns for me. I lose the battle. Um, as a penalty to losing, I take whatever the loss condition is on the merchant ship, which in this case is two damage, and as a consolation prize... I get a bonus level up of any card in my discard pile or the bottom card of my deck. There is no bottom card of the deck, so I will get to pick a card in my discard pile and get to level it up as a as a bon as a as a consolation prize for losing. I did, however, get some plunder from this battle. So this cube landed in this zone, which has a cube, which has a cargo and a coin on it. Yep. So while I lost the battle, I get to gain a coin and a cargo directly onto my ship. Um, if I had won the battle, I would have still gotten the plunder. I would have gotten two victory points, as it said. I would have gotten this advancement, and I would have gotten to make progress on the um, uh, uh, win battles achievement, yeah, the legendary achievement. achievement. Area here. So uh, when you fight a merchant ship, win or lose, or, sorry, if you win, you get the advancement. If you lose, it just goes what's called buried, and you just put it beneath that box for future games. Yeah. It's done. It's out of the game. We can clear this. Um, all right, first battle done. I lost. I didn't expect to win, but I did get a free cargo. I did get a cargo so of it, money. So it can be beneficial to lose, then. It's beneficial to be bold often. Now, now I, I've done two of the five damage it takes to sink me. So if I'm not if I do that too much, I will sink and lose and lose basically the stuff that I net it, gained myself. Okay. But if I can either sustain myself with two damage for the rest of the game, or I can heal this. Yeah, there's ways to heal it. I've seen that. I've seen the Correct. Cards then, then that actually is gonna then that battle is actually gonna be a net positive for me, even though I lost it. Yeah, well, right now you're not suffering. You have no negatives right now for that battle. Yep, that's right. So I get to level up a card in my discard pile as a bonus. And, uh, interesting. Do you have any other cards you're playing, or you, is that the end of your... I'm going to continue saying... I have a bunch of cargo now, so I can buy things. Uh, as, as a bonus for losing that battle, though, um, as a consolation prize, I'm going to go ahead and level up this deckhand. Okay. Um, I have two more sales, so I'm actually going to go straight out to level three. Whoa. Uh, with the rest of my sailing and find a card I can afford with two cannons on it and happily, happily buy that. So I will spend three, four cargo to purchase this, and uh, and I get an explorer, and I'm, I'm done. done. It's a pirate game. <laughs> okay, <laughs> while you're going, I get to put those guns on a card in my hand. <laughs> okay. I wanna, I'm going to make this gunner super awesome. While I'm still at port, I'm going to play these two. Put two more cargo on my ship. But you can only upgrade cards being discarded, huh? Uh, you only put advancements on cards you play. So yes, you can only play, okay. Now you upgrade one card you draw. The wheel. Yes, you, always, you always upgrade a card in your hand before you start your turn. Okay, uh, I'm also going to play my captain. Can you give me another right, sail? I'm busy. I've, I've been busy like getting getting mm -hmm. getting my win on. All right. <laughs> what win? Okay, I've got a movement of three, so I'm going to further explore by going one, two, and three. Okay, so that flips. Let's get it for you. You guys have comments. What you found they, another open sea. Ta da! However, I think you found it. it. You, found a, um, you found a very cheap advancement. Which is a, a, a good cheap advancement. Might as well, then, yeah. Comment I will buy it. Pick that up. Um, is that your full movement? Uh, yes. Okay. I don't think it's going. Okay. Yep. Then I am also going to play some. It is. In no, I want this. The next pirates time. are messing oh, with the feed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this has Wait, to go is on it my. Again? No, no, no. Oh, okay. It appears From like it's before. Good. <laughs> this has to go on something I discarded or in something my turn you played. Hand. Okay. One of the cards you played. Okay. Are you um, done your turn? Yeah, I'm done. Okay, so we can I'm refill. And it is Michael's turn. All right. Oops. Oh, not my the there. Swear. Damn shit. All right, the purser 
basically lets you uh, make a location generate, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. So I'm back to my base. I've got my I've got my cargo now. It's interchangeable right now, so I actually have two sails. I'm gonna put my cargo on there now. Um. Can I I generate? resources on here and then walk on here and get the resources it's my or island. only you if it's you can't pick up from my island so can i generate can i take it from another island that's owned by no one you can only pick up from islands you control so not if, if nobody owns it i still can't you can produce there and it sits there until somebody controls it and then picks it up oh so that's my island yep you can produce there even if you don't pick it up you can produce and it just sits there until you either you pick it up or someone else comes along takes your island from you and then picks and it up it. the merchant ship okay. what's it cost to get this card one book one buck, and this is two bucks. Oh, I need a flag. <laughs> Give me a flag, John. There is a rule I have. I didn't. I don't think I taught you guys, which is pirate mode. I'll explain that in a in a moment. Does it let me get to the? It doesn't help you right now. <laughs> draw Painful. maximum six. So if I I don't draw four and discard one, I draw three. If you kept three cards, you only get to draw three. Cards. Cool. Got it. The the one exception to that rule is if you control an island like this. Where it says uh, oh, hand your hand increase. maximum okay. is increased by one, Makes sense. Uh, but in, but if, since you don't control that an island like that, no, you, can't you can't have you can't draw past six cards. Right. Okay, I'll play that one. That one first. That one's gonna give me my my money before I move on to this space here. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, um, I'm going to upgrade this card. I will put two cubes on this location here, one and two, and now I control this place, which gives me one of those. Remember, you're limited here. Uh, yep. I will also produce yeah, onto this location, which will give me a barrel and a coin here. And then I'll pick that up and place it in my, my hold here. Actually, I can kind of move it over here if I need to. And then I will... No, it doesn't. There's four. That's, yeah. One, two, three, and four, right? This is three. Oh, oh, that is three, isn't it? That's juicy. Okay. Um, <laughs> it only points down. Cannon for each what? wheel, huh? The plus one for the production only points down. All right, I'll spend, yeah, I'll spend two one. to take this. <sighs> okay. Okay. And then I will move. Well, I can't move far enough to get that. What's this one Over here? Back. That's um, one wheel, or it's. It's both. Okay. It's make a cargo per wheel it's on the that It's the same card. as the other one, uh, yeah. I'm going to take these, then. You can afford all that. Nice. Oh, yeah, you were pretty rich this turn. Uh, I can't go back, though. Dunzo? Um, I will take that, and I'll put a cube on this location. Put a cube on my island. So you now have third place on that island, by the way. Because <laughs> blanks count. Yeah, blanks count. I, I just, it's right. just fine. Dunzo? Yeah. Um, I could start my turn by fighting this merchant ship. No. Uh, no fighting. I, I want to fight, dang it. I don't think I will. If I'd drawn my cool gunner that I leveled up, I would have done it. But I'm not going to. And I would rather fight it later, so I don't want to clear it from the board. So, now, when it says produce with any... with any, Well, it says this. This little uh, column. Produce, produce with any, with any island, island on row three, three right? That's right. That's right. Uh, it would be on a purser then, right? It can be on any card. I know, but would it be generally good to start with on a purser? Because this one basically lets you produce... Uh, this is double produce, right? It's, two, it's, a, it's a new production action. My my strategic recommendation Spread would be to put it on a different card. Really? Yeah, we have more, you, you have more than one card that can produce then. Yeah, and you're not reliant on the one production card. Also, when you produce, you, it's usually beneficial to pick it up the same turn that you produced it. Yeah. And if you produce on multiple islands at once, it's harder to go sail everywhere and pick them all up. Yeah. Okay, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, so I set my sailing to three this turn, and I'm just going to open by exploring this. Um, and seeing if I find something that costs one. I find a really good card that does not cost one. Uh, yep. You backed it? Congratulations. Oh, yes, thank, you, thank, thank you, thank you. We have a backer? Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, okay, now, no. I'm out of cards, so I get to, draw, I get to reshuffle and draw now, right? That's right. Um, so I went there. I can't afford it. I'll oh, go here. No, can't afford it. I'll go here, and I will. Oh. Uh, actually, before I leave the spot, I'm going to go drop a cube onto this island uh, with that card, and I'm done. I saved those two cards, so I will draw. Okay, for my turn, since I have both is covered, I have no automatic movement, huh? 
Um, uh, correct. Actually, I'm going to explain a rule right now because I'm actually going to use it. Okay. Oh, um, wait, what sneaky <laughs> thing are you doing? Oh, the pirating. So let me huh? explain pirate mode. Uh, okay. All right. So at the end of your turn, you can choose to be either in merchant mode or pirate mode. Mm. Merchant mode is the default. It's what we've been playing the whole time, and it's usually what you want to end in. Mm-hmm. However, you may choose to end in pirate mode, in which case you put your little banner on your ship, yeah. and you have now you're now in pirate mode. That means that means a couple things. One, it means opponents can't do anything to the island that you're at. You are blockading that island; no one can touch it. Second, oh. um, if anyone stops on the space you're on, you automatically initiate a battle against them. Okay, so if anyone comes to that space and stops there, I automatically fight them. If I lose that fight, however, I have to take the pirate flag off and then my island is vulnerable again. So essentially, I'm blockading that island until somebody beats me. And then, the, and then someone can, and then my island is vulnerable. Okay. Make sense? Yep. Um, now, the, the exception to everything I just explained is the exact case happening here, where if there's another ship that's actually starting okay. their turn on that space, you don't have to fight me, but if you want to do anything to the island, you have to fight me. Does that make sense? If you want to do anything here, include by the advancement. So if you do anything other than just sail away, you first fight me. Make sense? Yeah. But you may just sail away without initiating a battle because you start it there. Uh You can run away with your tail between your legs. Heck no! He want. I'm gonna fight him just for the sake of it now. Maybe I was the maybe I was the pirate last round, huh? Uh, Strategically, I did that for a few reasons. One, that island is really good. He's made progress. I don't want him to continue making progress to taking it from me. So I want to make him fight me to do it. Two, I didn't draw my big gunner in that hand. So I knew of the remaining eight cards in my deck, one of them was a really big gunner, and I was drawing four cards. So I had a 50-50 chance of getting a really good fight card. Maybe maybe I'm not... Maybe I wasn't going to... Uh... Hey, I might not have drawn it. You, you can come fight me. I'm fine with that. Uh-oh. <laughs> It also the other advantage of just being in pirate mode if you if you're confident you can win battles and you're not vulnerable to sinking, which actually I am a little bit, is it just hinders their their choices in terms of what advancements they can buy, right? He can buy the advancement in my space, but in order to do it he has to first fight me, right? So it's it's kind of it's it's uh, hindering the advance the options he has there. Now I don't know if he wants that advancement, but if he did, he'd have to fight me to to, to be able to buy it. The advancement where I am to influence buys a cannon or yeah. So what this what this means is um, this ability gives you two influence placements per cannon on whatever card this is on. Oh, okay. So, like, uh, oh, that, that I don't know if I taught you, explained this icon. Did I explain this icon to you guys? It's out here on a couple cards right no. now. No. Okay. That is the bonus draw icon. Um, at the end of your turn, for every bonus draw you played, you get to draw an extra card. So it's not, there's, there's actually no card draw in this game mid-turn. It all helps your next turn draw. Okay. So okay. Um, if I play one of those on my turn... My next draw is five cards, not four. But again, still not past my hand maximum. Mm-hmm. So there's a point at which getting too much bonus draw mm-hmm. stops being useful. That's really helpful. Uh, yeah. That's good because that's always his uh, strategy for mm-hmm. a lot of these types of games: <laughs> draw as many cards as possible. Oh yeah. I don't remember what I want to do. I probably should have done this. It's your turn, right? Um, Earlier. I finished I'm, my turn. Oh, okay. Then yes. Okay. This is all I wanted to do. This is. I mean, you're, at the end of your turn is when you're supposed to upgrade. You can do it while somebody else is taking their turn then. Would it matter if it was on his turn, if I was supposed to upgrade now? So you can wait all the way until it's the start of your turn to upgrade if you want to, um, and then choose what card you upgrade. Um, a lot of, like 80% of the time, you know what you want to upgrade anyway. Uh, but if, you, if, you, if what other people do does affect your decision of what you want to upgrade, you can wait all the way until uh, the start of your okay. turn. Okay, okay, cool. Okay, just to clarify, since I have things on <laughs> both of these parts of the ship, I don't get any base movement, right? Um... Uh, you are not in an island you control, so you don't get the you don't get the friendly port bonus. Hey, Winston, I so you can't you can't that. use either of these sails. Okay. Unless unless you choose to throw the stuff overboard. I'm telling no. you to battle. No. I know. Let, he let, is. Me explain, let me explain an important him. thing here, though, right? Oh. Um, when you choose to set your sails is up to you. So you can do other stuff first, ex- uh, other than move. I'm um, in the open ocean. So like what you could do car. is you can choose to cash in four of this to buy that, which actually frees up a sail for when you set your sails. Does that make sense? Yeah. Now, don't do that if you don't want to spend four on that advancement, but th- if that makes sense to you. Yeah, yeah. No, it's that or nothing, so. Okay. Okay, I will move here. Wait, how are you moving? Captain. He has oh, a, captain. one sail from gotcha. his captain. Um, let me explain one last rule about uh, timing for leveling up. You may choose to level up a card in response to being attacked. Oh. T- this could have went into my my hmm. uh, chest. 
Any and time or only when you got to the port? Only when you're at okay. port. Your, your right. treasure chest is at port. Oh, I, I did that. Mm -hmm. uh, so timing of leveling up, like I said, you can wait till the start of your turn if you want to. Yes. You may also do it in response to being attacked. So if someone initiates an attack against you, or in this case, if you were to say, I want to put cubes on your island, John, let's fight um, to see if you can get me out of pirate mode. I could say, all right, in response to that, this is the card I choose to level up. Now let's fight. If, I, if, I'm, if I'm not doing a different level up. Oh. Okay. I'm going to spend two cards in to put two cubes here. Okay. Still nobody controls it, but that's fine. Need one more, right? You will need one more. Okay. Yeah, that I is cool. I don't control it, but since I instant have... Instant backable. Thank you, Investment thank you, in Alan. Can I do the person here or no? You can do the person there, you just can't pick up the stuff. Yeah. Oh. I like the idea of being able to upgrade based I'd on... I'd rather not use the person, because at that point, then, stuff. if somebody else takes it, then I'm giving them the... Sure. Yeah. Now, so, so if you're not going to use the person, just hold on to it until yeah. when it is useful, right? You don't have yeah. to play all your cards. I will spend three to get this. Yeah, that, that's a really good advancement. This was on one of those, right? Yeah. Okay. I won't, Dad. Super speed. Whoa. Yeah. That's pretty much it, right? Well, you, you can you might want to play other cards. I will. No, yeah, I want to. So, my this. general advice is don't save more than three cards. Or don't save more than cards. two. Sorry, don't save more than two cards. More than two? Okay. Yeah. Well, because then you, you, you don't draw as many cards and you won't cycle your deck as fast. Um, you draw um, so I just will, play a card to make cargo back at home. I will repair. No, I have to spend to repair. I will pick up three, but there's nothing to pick up here. Oh, look at no, that. No, no, that's not pick up three. That is make three cargo. Oh. So that means you actually make three cargo at, oh, at home. Green, at home. Oh. So, it's, so you're gradually building up cargo back at home for when you do get I back. I thought I had to be home to do that. No. It's okay. It's making cargo back at home for when you get back there. That's cool. Makes okay. Sense? Yeah. Yeah. And then you just okay. leave this Spend on something two. you've played, yeah. and we're good to go. Back point, I'm good to go. Your turn, Mike. <sighs> Ooh, another double wheel. All right. Well. Oh, yeah. That's obviously what I want to do. I want to... Well, depends on what you do. Wheel in this. So I will... Yeah. Produce one of these at my house. That makes it on your ship. No, no, that's on anchor. Yes, you're right. You got mm -hmm. it. Okay. And I also get to produce. produce on any so I'll produce from here. Makes one coin. Here. One coin. Doesn't have a barrel. Oh, just did okay. It's this one. Yeah. That's the production the bonus if you put an building. outpost on it. Mm. In order to build, I need to have, upgrade my cards. Huh? Your your first mate was is what allows you to build buildings. And it costs as well. And it, and it does cost cargo to build. Yeah. yeah. Buildings are good, though. Hmm. Um, you haven't upgraded, have you? I have not chosen what to upgrade yet. Uh, advancement that will say... What does this do here? That means ma get one coin and put it straight on your ship. Okay. Got it. And it's you. real cheap. Mm -hmm. Get a coin and put it on your ship. Yep. Oh, like here. It'll net you some... Got it. Nominal amount of points by the end of the game. Yeah. Okay. Cannon. Doesn't help your engine, but points are how you win. I don't know if I explained end game points to you guys. Want me to go through really? that now? I'll go through right after the end of Michael's turn. Alright, so. This is going to drop three more barrels. At Harbor? No. Oh, okay, here. Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> and I just happen to have a cannon there. <sighs> I only have two movement, however. And I can't buy this. I can't battle even if I wanted to, could I? Because I don't have a way to put cubes on here. I can't build. I can't... Uh... Uh, you can You can just say you want to fight. Yeah. Because I'm in pirate mode. You, you can say, sure. I stop here, and then we fight. Okay. And how many uh, cards do you have in hand? Six. Really? Well, I, saved, I, saved, I saved two cards last time. I, See, two, it, it is beneficial no, for me. To, it, I could have played all my cards last time. And then only it is four. potentially beneficial oh, for me to fight. Yeah, yeah. You draw, you draw four, two, but yeah. not past six. And right and now, what I'm nine. showing is I only have two cannons here, which means I only get two to, two cubes. I'm, I'm only showing one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> showing. Yeah. Showing. <laughs> Yeah. Going up against the designer of the game. Well, the problem is I just don't have. I could really I... use some plundered cargo from you, so from this battle. <laughs> Plunder? I don't have any. No, no. So, so it's just it comes from the bank. Yeah. It represents having plundered yeah, stuff yeah, from yeah. your opponent. But that's, I'm, that's what I would like too, but not at a very high cost. Would it be beneficial if I say I'm going to fight? May you only maybe only go one or two up? 
Just so we uh, both one, potentially one get up. some. Yeah, yeah, one or two up from your number. So we both benefit from this battle. No, I'm gonna play all of my cannons if you attack me. But but Why we can. You? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if I walk away, you don't get to fight. This, this isn't a negotiation. <laughs> when we walk away, I don't, you don't get to fight, and then you don't get to get anything. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play all of my cannons if you attack me. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> There's no reason to hold back. Well, because I'm just not going to now. Not you, him. Because because I'm just not going yeah. to now. That's why. Uh, it okay might have been in his, it's in his best interest to have gotten something. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, so that was one. No, that was one, oh, one movement. Yeah. I'm going to then move over here. Some and sales. this is going to cost three. So I'll take this for three. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's it. Dunzo? Is there an endgame point bonus for drinking? Cool. <laughs> I am done, yes. No? There is not an endgame point bonus for drinking. But I'm a pirate. Yeah, Although I don't question. have any rum. <laughs> oh, I was going to explain endgame scoring to you guys. Just yeah. so, it's, so it's good. I mean, it's. I think you have most of it by now. Um, uh, at the end of the game, you're going to score um, all the coins in your chest. You're going to score the points on islands that you control and or have second or third place. Um, uh, you're going to score for all the achievements you got. Note the victory points at the bottom of them. And that's going to make up the bulk of your scoring, but you're going to pick up some points from a few other things. Um, ship upgrades on your ship are worth one point for the basic ones and two points for the advanced ones. How do we do that? I haven't seen that at all. It's your bosun, and I'll explain it to you in a okay. sec. Okay. Um, every building you control, which is from your first mate, is worth one point. So if you end up with several buildings on the board, that's some points. And then finally, every two advancements you have sleeved onto cards, um, uh, every two advancements you've bought is worth one point. So buying advancements is gradually netting you some amount of points as well as also improving your deck. Cool. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't leveled up yet because I was seeing what Mike would do. Seeing if he would attack you. <laughs> maybe, maybe. That might be that might be the case. It's a good theory. Uh, I just need a faster ship. That's my problem. Yeah, I'll be honest. I want to turn my deck ship into the way so if I big sales, tons if of guns. I if I level, right, I'm, uh, level yeah, yeah. I'm gonna level up the card that gives me a faster ship. If I level up my captain, do I lose the sail then, and I get I just get the? If you level up your captain, yeah, from level one to two, because yeah. it normally gives me a sail, but at level two it just gives me either the pirate. You lose, you don't get the sail anymore. That's right. All right, so uh, I leveled up my deckhand, um, and I and I'm at a friendly port, so I get to use all four sails. Um, and then I'll go ahead and make two. Three, uh, four, five cargo uh, at home port. Um, oh, I can save that. I'm going to make just four cargo. Nice, Skip. Thanks for being with us. Making four cargo back at home. I really wish I'd drawn my purser this turn, but I didn't, and that is okay. Oh, actually, you know what? I am going to make two more. I don't, I don't love it, but I'm going to do it. Money bags over here. Um, so I make, mm -hmm. I make six cargo. I will spend one to sail home. I'm no longer in pirate mode. Uh, while at home, I can use my crew ability to spend two cargo to repair damage. Get myself a little further away from sinking. Uh, and I have no influence to place this turn. That's fine. I will go one, two, three. Purchasing this. Um, uh... Card along the way. <laughs> Oof. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. This. Along the way. Um, for that. And then I attack this merchant ship with three four guns. And it is a four. So I have the slight advantage in this battle. Four on four. I win ties. Battle. And I won this one. Taking no bonus damage. That is good. And getting some plunder. How many did you so roll for? It's two to one. No redrops. No bonus stuff. Um, so I win. Winning means I get one progress on that achievement. I get the things it tells me I get, which is three okay, gold. gold. And I get this advancement, which is a sale. And then... Um, oh, and I dropped this off back at home early. And then... Um, I also get plunder from here, which is two, three cargo and a coin. That was a very effective battle for me. 
Does all that go on your ship there? Or? So uh, all of the stuff you get in plunder has to go on your ship. So if I couldn't fit it on my ship, I'd have to throw it overboard. Okay. Fortunately, it fits exactly um, with no room to spare. Uh, that is the end of my turn. I remember okay. the last time we played Space Base with John here, and he crushed Crushed whoever people who were playing i was like oh dang one designer because most of the time the designers come over and they're just like you know i teach you how to play and i'll let let you guys win not not the case he he wants to crush you um (laughs) but otherwise no we played boss monster the grant almost won but then got overwhelmed at the end and then i thought i had second place and it just didn't happen because then the he beat you guys too how much did he beat us by um all right so your turn now Okay. Uh, okay, so I have one ship, uh, one sail uncovered, so I'm going to explore oh, and, a little further. And note, I had one bonus draw on the cards I play, so I draw five cards this turn. Okay. Oh, I'm so going to explore. It's so much faster right now. Yeah. Well, so they're battling so useful. So I'm going to flip this. Well, going in with four guns in the battle is what's useful. Mm-hmm. Just battling in general, though, is, is worth hey, doing. Hey, I actually got an item. with it. Did you heal yourself, too? Uh, he did. One of my crew healed me when I sailed back home. And then I managed to win that fight. So I do not have the money for that. So this is not a ship. I can't buy it, can I? You can buy it. You can't afford it. Yeah, I'm right. Um, Oh, sorry, I can't fight it. This is an endgame thing. Uh, It gives you a wheel, and it is worth two victory points at the end of the game per wheel on the card. That's the other thing. How do I upgrade? Your bosun. Yes. So your bosun at level three and four lets you. At level three, it lets you buy basic ship upgrades. At level four, it lets you buy basic or advanced ship upgrades. Okay. Based on the prices indicated here. Got when it. you buy a ship upgrade, you just put it on your ship. You want to fill in the two blank spots first, and then it's just a, a new slot. Um, in the future, if you fill in, if you fill in, once you fill in both of those, um, you can you can buy you can replace a slot with a new one if you want to. Okay. Uh, I, I don't see any problems on this okay. end, but uh, I'll cool. keep track to make sure things are in not being glitchy. Uh, do we have any questions? Um, no. Nope. No, it's, it's a little I'm glitchy going... right now. Okay, yeah. that's annoying. Jeez. Back home, I'm going to make. Oh, here, Callie, you can play. I um, One, all two, I've been three. doing is, is a slower version of what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, that's right. I had that. Dang it! I goofed it. Yeah, you got to be careful when you hold your cards that you don't cover any upgrades you have and forget that you have that, and then forget to play it before you move. Yeah, you want to you want to make sure you see all the sales that you got right. in your hand. Not just sales. Huh. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. So that's the idea, and so right here, as you see, see this this, this turn, I couldn't care less what you guys do. I know what I'm loving. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna hold on three. Yeah, like you said, you eh, with that, but sure. Okay. Yeah. And you explored that? Um, yes. So you got your third explorer uh, cube, right? Yeah. That's the third thing you've explored. Yes. And then I get three cargo wow, we're back We're going to end up splitting the explore. Look at this. Uh-oh. No one's going to get it. <laughs> oh, yeah, three cargo back at my home port. Uh, one person might, right? He's the, he's in the best chance to get it. But I'm I, too far away. I, I could go there and knock off one, and then if you went there and knocked off that, it'd be done. No one. I, it. Unfortunately, I can't move two spaces because I have this one cargo here, huh? You can throw it overboard. Yeah, but <laughs> at the or, cost of... So there's, so there's a few things you can do. Well, no, here's a few things you can do. Okay, and um, turn. There's a few ways to get around that. One, before setting your sails, you spend it on the advancement that you're at. This here. There's only yeah. one, right? Which in this case, fortunately, yeah. you, you it could buy it. Two, you leave it on the island um, uh, and just sail away. Three, you throw it into the ocean. Or four, before setting your sails, you actually just conquer the island with cards in your hand, and then you're at a friendly port for when you set sails. Okay. But if you can't do any of those options, that is going to block your sail. The play originally was... Um what I wanted. Mm-hmm. Look, do you see? Uh, uh, yeah, from yeah, John's yeah, yeah, perspective, yeah, yeah. not yours, yeah. right? Because we want that's what you want. If you can get that on One more. on this, mm-hmm. right? You're going to get this. Oh, you're going to get this. You're going to get another symbol, and then you're also going to get double. And then the top one, all you'd want is... Hey, for both you guys, um, I think I... There's, there's one... Um, uh, Cleanup step rule that gives you some flexibility that I want to exp- that I don't know if I touched on. Tell me, don't let me know if I did. Okay. When you buy advancements, you set them to the side. At the end of turn, you sleeve them onto cards you play. Right. You may keep one advancement unsleeved um, in between turns. 
you still only sleeve it at the end of your turn, so you have to put on something else. You'd sleeve it at the end of a future turn. But if like the card you really want to sleeve it on isn't one of the cards you've played this turn, yeah. you can just leave it off to the side until you get that card. At any for for a future turn? Yeah. You can leave it unsleeved as long as you want and sleeve it on a future turn. So you have a, you have a, a basic separate slot that just lets you hold an advancement. A single advancement. Now, if you have multiple advancements, you have to sleeve all but one. Okay. And is that is all. that just is that a normal rule to That's the a, game then? That is a normal rule. You can always keep one advancement unsleeved. You got, you're not doing that, are you? I haven't done it yet. All right. <laughs> I'm watching him. Give, give him bonus bonus rules. I'm making up rules over here. Making up bonus rules. <laughs> also, let me know, let me tell you about how pirating works. Okay, now uh, <laughs> let me show you how we're gonna fight. You also, you're gonna lose. <laughs> also, you can yeah. choose to like. Uh, Purple play starts four the game with an extra five new ones. Purple starts the card starts the game with an extra twenty points. If you play all your cards three times in a row, you get a bonus <laughs> card. <laughs> I'm watching you. I'm watching you now. <laughs> It's Callie's go, right? Oh, it is? Yep. Okay. Yeah. We're, yeah, we're done over here. And uh, I'm ready. I'm good to go. Hey, so, Steven, how you doing? I should try to get that card. Uh, right? Well, you can't yeah. get it, though. Yeah. Uh, which one? I go back. Which, what, what no, card I'm are we talking about? Tell me. Beer. The... No. Uh, oh, down 3-3? Uh, uh, three, three? Is that what you mean? Death ditch. Uh -huh. What do you want it for? Where? Oh, oh! I would have to go back though. I'm, uh, then I wouldn't have enough. Out. Okay. You have Rift you have two spaces right now. Tustin Brewing Co. So right now yeah. you have one because you have this support here. local. Oh yeah. Mm. But you have you can move two total. Thomas mm. Green is asking: Was this game always a pirate theme from inception? Yes, it actually was. Um, uh, it. Um, What's that one? It dates back. One the first prototype ownership. of this game was in, put a coin was in January 2016. Um, and it was uh, so shortly. It was when we finished up developing Mystic Veil, vale, um, but before Mystic Veil vale released, and we were talking about what other. I was talking with AEG specifically it's about what other that, avenues we could go with the card crafting yeah, system. Or one of these, to get an um, and one of the suggestions they made was to actually design a game uh, in the Seventh C universe, which was an old CCG they made, um, like uh, I guess probably almost two decades ago now. Um, yeah, seven C's. Yeah, because they still had all the artwork for it. So I don't know. Okay. Some of which is pretty cool art. Um, one more movement. Uh, so I started designing a pirate themed card crafting uh -huh. game. Um, in the end, we decided not to go with the seven C yeah. uh, IP on it um, for a number of reasons. And we got you know Tool to do the artwork. I have to use this um, though. Uh, uh, but that's where that's where they originated. Um, so yeah, I was trying yeah, to design a pirate game from the beginning, or a, a, a high C's game time. from so the beginning. Move one. Yep. Leave the cube there. Uh huh. And then, yeah, to this. Move one more. Pick this up. And then I'll generate some cargo. Okay. This, these two will go at home. And this one will be on the ship. So one on the ship. You can also buy this if you'd like. Um, for two. That is a battle ability. So during a battle, you, you can get resolve that ability, and it just gives you one extra battle effect. Battle uh, uh, damage. Uh, oh. Victory, like battle victory points. Yeah, I like that one. That's two. Oh, is it damage or is the it the crowns or crown. battle battle strength? Battle damage. That's yeah. what determines who wins, but it's yeah. not. It doesn't do damage. Well, right. I'm just saying, like it's the it's the variable that determines the winning. That's right. I like that. Okay. okay. Okay, so you got two upgrades then, or just one? Or you just one. one. My go. One. Yes, your go. So now yeah, you can. Yeah, um, up to you, babe. I, I gave you the. So your strategy. I know. Yeah, I gave you the strategy. Like this, it could well, go on this one, okay? I'm but you would lose yeah, that's you why me. You lose the spot for that. Which is buying this advancement that came out. I will buy this advancement that says level up this card one level. Um, that advancement triggers every time I play the card. Uh, so when I play oh. a card. The card automatic. I can level up the card and then yeah. use it on the leveled up side. So yeah. it helps me get some card up much faster. It's kind of like a neutral um, card. Then uh, I can't actually use the sails on my ship because I'm not an island control. So I'll do one of the things I explained before. I'll actually play my level three buccaneer and just go ahead and take control of the island, which means now I am at a friendly port. Are you at eight? So <laughs> I can go oh. and set my eight what? Uh, mm -hmm. Eight that's, cubes. Is that's eight permanent place. cubes. So oh, I currently okay. only have two permanent cubes. Got it. For the okay. two islands I've taken control. Um, 
so I take control of that island, meaning I can use both sails. I set my sailing to a meager two. I will make a cargo back at port. I will make a... Oh, that's yeah, interesting. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to save yeah. that. Yeah. I'll make another cargo back at port. Oh, I think yeah, that doesn't help. Yeah, but all, all, all abilities are, cho are choose, choose to. Save those two. If yes. I play a card that says... Uh, Put produce, uh, and then another one that says produce again. Can I choose to not produce again then? All abilities are optional. You could play your entire hand and do nothing. Okay. That's obviously not going to help you win the wow. game. But all abilities are optional. Wow. Okay. Um, okay. So with my two sailing, I will go dink, dink, mm -hmm. and then with my last cargo on my ship, buy that. And you can't come to my we island. We should have pirated. <laughs> I'm tempted to just drop myself into pirate mode here. I'm going five cards again this turn, and I will drop into pirate mode. Now, just when to limit your options, and and incentivize fighting, and 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 get get into fights because I because I've got a good pirate fighty card that I'm pretty sure I'm gonna draw. I'm done. Okay. I'm, I'm actually gonna leave this card unsleeved. Is just no, your strategy different on that one with them? Mm -hmm. I have no idea if this is a good strategy, but. I already know that he's like way <laughs> ahead of us right now. Yeah. I'm gonna use my one sail to move here. Done so. My cards in hand. Okay. I have six cards in hand. My I chose to play one more card. So since I have three, I, I take that now. Yeah. Two good turns he had that like really helped. You're going there. Yeah. yeah. Dropping three, well, so you take control of it. And lost. You dropped one more. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. He lost, yeah, played and lost one. Of ships. So sometimes you yeah. lose. Yeah. It's worth it. No, the battle I lost. I mean, I would always rather win the battle. But I mean, well, yeah, the only thing you lost that. on it was one damage to your ship, and what you gained was uh, the battle I lost. I took two, and I got like one cargo. The battle I won was, was much more. You got, you got one up. level up, and I got the level up, of course. Yeah. Yeah. And then you also got a coin, and you also got a cargo, of course. And the only cost really was damage. One fire now, currently. So yeah, yeah, and two cargo because I had to spend it. Heal, heal the other one. But yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like yeah, yeah, no. it can be so, beneficial okay. to so, fight even if you lose. Even if you lose, absolutely. Okay. So if I do the bosun here, that I get this now since I'm at a friendly port, yes? Yeah, you can produce there, that's right. And it makes two cargo on the island, which you can then pick up because you're there and you control. People want cool. you to fight Callie. And then... Just fight Josh. He doesn't seem like he's attacking. You know his deck, so beat him. <laughs> Oh, I only get the two. Cause mm -hmm. Oh, no, I get two and a coin, because there's fighting? one pointing. No. What? There's one pointing there. Uh, oh, yes, that. that's right. You get a coin yeah. as well. Okay, and yeah, I'm just going to figure it all out. Yeah. Where the green is, that's where we want. Hmm? Mm-hmm. That's where we want real badly. I don't know if this? we want it on. Who would save that? Or did, was it just not there? there? I didn't do anything. I yet. bought that on my last turn, so that should be there. We want okay. three, two. Three, two. Mm -hmm. we, want, we want to save that. For the card that we got rid of, yeah. it's really no merchant yeah. ships to go. But we don't have to any go cargo. Shoot up. What? No cargo. Actually, it cost it cost two. Mm -hmm. We have two here. Yeah. We would Is there any incentive for me to two? put another influence on that same island? Not really. Do we? How many? How many flags? I'll make another cargo at home. Just one. Mm-hmm. Got a huge pile of cargo at home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. It's helpful. And then uh, I will end my turn there, and I'm going pirate mode. Huh? All right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but yeah. Oh, that one. Yeah. Okay. He's going pirate mode to defend his island. Okay. You guys can go punch Discards. him in the face if you want. Mm. Punch who? He's just go waiting me to get attacked. Why? Am I? <laughs> the, the risk of going into pirate mode mm -hmm. is... If they come here, is Anyone fighting. can now just sail there and attack you. Whether They don't need the, the icon that lets them attack people. Yeah. Okay. Um... And if you don't draw a good battle this hand, coin if we just dump I it for three movements. Myself. Okay, um, then that's that's a safe move. Do we need an extra? Do we need to move three spaces? And step? I drew what I needed to for no, adding need defense one, there. Two, yeah, I'm good. Right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. I might. And come then anyway, we'll do. Okay. Four. <laughs> <laughs> we need to move you one you. space. So. Oh, one move one space. <laughs> okay. And then four and I will cubes will go on here. Ooh, you got to fill in the blank one. I know. Okay, you're doing it right. Yeah, there you go. One. Pretty lame, guys. Two, three, four. I agree. Pretty lame. The fighting moves right there. That's what I get for not ending there in part mode. If you get multiple sails from the same card, do you have to use them all at once, or can you still divide it up? 
Ooh, so, so, this, one more. so the card gives you three. Can you, yeah. you know, move one, do off. stuff? So move. the way sales yeah. work is um, at one point during your turn, you determine how, man, how many movement points. And we put this in our one, oh. one movement point per sale to be divided uh, throughout the turn. And then, and then w at, after you've done that and set your cube to how many movement points you have, then you spend them for the rest of your turn. Cool. So if a card no. gives you three sales, it'll just contribute three to that moment where you count your sales. We don't have any money. We're not going to get what we want there. Yeah. That was pretty lame, guys. Yep. Took school Island. Pretty unhappy with that move. I'm gonna go. Ahead um, and are these go. always the same? Um, islands. Twelve, twelve islands. Are there? Are there more than the game? Um, for board setup. Three, six, nine, twelve. We have 12. a reveal in the Kickstarter that may answer that question. Oh. Uh, there are twelve. Currently, there's twelve. Yeah. <laughs> as far as anybody knows. So yeah. there are at least three open sea plus whatever these two are. Uh, there's one more open sea because you need that for a two-player game. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Uh, interesting. Okay, so I leveled up that. And these are randomly allocated, right, for setup? It's just... just they're so. randomly allocated. Yeah. In a, in a four-player game, you use two open seas. In a three-player game, you use three. And in a two-player game, you use four. Just to just to sort of um, condense the island options yeah. with less players, More competition. Right? Makes That's sense. Right. Yeah. Um, I am not at a friendly island. I'd like to be at a friendly island, but there's not much I can do about it. Fortunately, I can get that there and have one sail. Come on, baby. Uh, mm -hmm. oh, Pretty sure. One. Three. Four. Upgrade. <laughs> Any advancements I really want this turn? Oh. No. Mm -hmm. Well, I put this on them. I already upgraded. Oh. Yeah. Which is what, so you can, if you mm -hmm. wanted to upgrade, you can upgrade them right now, so you can upgrade any of those. Yeah. It's going to give you this. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm going to go ahead and set my yeah. sailing I a, to I do that one, right now. one, two, three, four. I've only seen them twice. Um, or once. Once or tw twice, I think. This is the third time. And save. But I got that for because I knew this was coming out. Those so two now you have one, two, and you have two. I make one, yeah. two, three, three four. And one card. And cargo it's at home? home? Yeah. And it's on the ship. Cool. And then I have a sailing speed of four. So I'm going to spend one to just go home and unload my monies. Uh, Talk about the big one in the bottom right hand corner. Reload all of Well, this. big one. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, oh yeah, beginning. it's a uh, pseudo oh, dice tower. It's really cool. The game. Oh yes, this this buy, ship is part of the game. This is what okay. we use for battling. So Damn. we will we'll, we'll show you how this works very soon. How battling works. And with I'm me and uh, Callie go and crush John over here. I think we need to. Uh, uh, it, we'll it that under matter. there. And that <laughs> we should. Yes, we should definitely. Dunzo. Okay. Oh, I'm I'm leaving part of my. No, okay. I, I'm not even an island to defend. Okay, so when okay. I start on my turn, if I'm in pirate mode, it just goes away if I choose to, or what? Uh, you're, you're technically not in pirate mode on your own turn. Okay. Um, you can leave it if you plan to end your turn in pirate mode, but, it, not sure but the fact that you're in pirate mode is irrelevant. Your, on your, uh, your option yeah. is you can take okay. it on or off at the end of your turn. Yeah, pirate mode only okay. matters on other players' turns. Okay. Uh, I'm going to start no draw with... Bonuses. Nope, I did it with yeah. draw bonus. Three sales. Five cards. Cool, take my money. Yeah, you should. This is good. If you like, if you like, um, if you want a game that's like a Mystic Veil, vale, but it's got a lot more of a multiplayer feel, a very, very aggressive more engine building, and has a little yeah. bit of added, what I call it, fun mode. You this. have things where you're, where you're dropping these cubes down in here. And then I can move this over here and get another sail. There's, yeah? there's cool stuff like that in this game. Oh, what? I have not left the port yet, so I spend this to mm -hmm. get three sails. I buy this and then move the, the coin over. That's right. Yep, you got it. Okay, cool. So you can set your sign to four. Cool things. It is cool. Hey, Josh, how you doing? Also, guys, remember, we are giving away the game Mystic Veil vale by the end of the night of the stream. Not to do this as if you're well, interested, so go ahead and five. like, comment, and share this video. Uh, and we will be going ahead and giving uh, one copy away of Mystic Veil. Vale. I'll post it on the Unfriendly Gamer board game group at the end of the night. This video or the last no video influence. counts for sharing. Two. And you get more lore achievements. We neither of us can go. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, okay. So that's a level three or level four or what do I do with that? 
So no one else gets that. Oh, no, no. one else can get that. I can't, really, I can't really reach uh -huh. cards. There's only so one right. unexplored one. Mike, help me out, please. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know what you were saying. Is it four or three? Uh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yes, please. <laughs> Too expensive. Crap! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I... Don't wait, no, wait. I moved two to get there. Wait for it. I don't know how you're going to get that. There's no way you get that. <sighs> Man! You can't get it either, bro. I currently have no cargo, <laughs> but only currently. Yeah, can you get cargo and get all the way back there? Who knows? Do we have one... We don't. If I do crew, it only oh, produces back so at home port, I not know. at the port I'm at, huh? Yeah, that has to be uh, yeah, 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 yeah. If I produce uh, cargo, for, it has what, to be for, at for the home port, not at a friendly port, huh? All, all, all of the cards tell you where the cargo gets made. That's so if it has a little anchor one. on it, anchor it's at port. port. If it has a ship, it's directly onto your ship. It's both. If it's a question mark, mm. it's your choice. Mm. It's both. What if it's the wheel? You get both of them. If that doesn't make any cargo. What if I wanted to? <laughs> you really want that triple gun good. Yes, I do. <laughs> <sighs> really back in our 54 here. Now. Can yeah, I sell this looking back? Looking forward I mean, to getting this game <laughs> Nope. Well, David John Half says he amazing. thanks you so much. He's just busy right now. Who, okay. who said what? <laughs> Backer 54 said he's very excited. Awesome. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, it's currently okay, on our I table. I'm very excited. So one, two. Oh, you, you do? Yeah. You cannot explore ah, more than yeah. one yeah. island in the same Oh, turn. okay. Good to know. You want that? You, you want that? So you can start heading home. You, you have a bunch a of cargo sitting of at home for you. Yeah. Ton of this stuff too. Yeah. You could take a swing at that merchant ship. And then we'll hit John with the captain. <laughs> if I swing at the merchant ship, <laughs> you're gonna want a bunch of cannons. What's the end game out. trigger? The end game trigger is when enough of these. Are, are, one are, one are, player gets four achievements. Yeah, when four achievements are yeah, achieved. Yeah, let's go for it. I'm gonna fight it. Whether it be thirty so you're coins spend one in a barrel to go here. Or, Right? Oh, no, like that merchant barrels. ship. Okay. So you're going to spend one sale to go there and then fight that. I thought that was that. a merchant ship. No, I don't want to leave that for you, though, even though you can't buy it. <laughs> no, no, I can't buy it. I, I want it. I really want it now. Huh. <laughs> yeah, let's go for the merchant ship. Why not? Okay. Um, so, what cards... Well, so, first of all, you get to see uh, how big it is. Um, okay. Not as good. It is a three. Uh, you have one cannon plus the one on your ship, so a total of two. Cool. So it's two on three. Do you wanna okay. Do, you want to do the honors? It's on the other side of the board. So I really can, want to do this, but it's on the other side. So we yeah. can we can face it so you can at least see your own battle. Okay. Uh, don't don't mess me up, please. Uh, I'm making it so the audience sees. I don't really care. Okay, much Mike, don't mess me up, please. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I may go ahead and shake these up here. All right, you guys ready to see a battle? I hope Josh loses because that was the card we wanted. Yeah, we all wanted to fight that thing. Uh, he, right, we he, check. He is gonna lose. <gasps> they got a crown. Yeah, one to zero. However, you get some plunder. Okay. So you're going to lose, so you're going to take two damage. Okay. You get a bonus level up as a consolation prize. Okay. For oh, any okay. card in your discard pile, Ooh. there's none, right? Or is this your that, discard? Yeah. So any card in your discard pile, or you can just randomly do it on the bottom card of your deck. Uh, you get So you get a coin and a barrel, and do you want a coin or a barrel, Josh? Coin and a barrel, or... No, you get you, both of these. You're either getting two coins okay. and one barrel, or two barrels and one coin. And now, uh, which one do you want? Give me another barrel, please. Hey, did you just make the barrels you need? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I just gotta get there. And it's two damage. The so you oh, I can get there. You spent one, two, three. Right? Yeah, no, I'm I'm good. You have one movement left. No, I had five total. Oh, so you have two moves left. So yeah. You can go here, buy this for your four. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you went and plundered a merchant ship to get the stuff you needed to go pick this up. <gasps> Pirates too like bad. me. I really, I actually was gonna be able to buy that on my <gasps> turn. I was kind of worried about that. Anything else? <laughs> me. Um, you have one wait. movement left. You can start heading home. Yeah. And I don't want the stuff to be left in. Are you heading home or no? Yes. Okay. So I will move, move one. Space back home. And then yeah. you're done. And pirate mode? No. All right. He's there already. It's an open sea space. Why? <laughs> oh, is it no? Is it number of, hold on, is it number of times gone pirate mode or is it? No, that's the number yeah, of battle wins. Battle. So you, so you, okay. No, you lost that battle. That's the number yeah. of battles you've won against other ships. Yeah. Got it. Uh -huh. Okay. So I've won one battle cool. so far, so I made a little progress. Okay. So there's my okay. two I'm holding. Right. Now we have we're at port right now, so we yeah. Coming. So I'm gonna generate some stuff. I have a lot to do here. One, <laughs> two. You get two barrels instantly on your ship. Oh, that's really yeah, useful. and then one barrel. Yeah, so yeah. three. Okay. Huh? Did you do this? Is three? Yeah. Okay. And we're at then six. Who's... I told you I want to be the widow. We're at three. <clears throat> you studied yeah. pirate or pirate history? A little, only a little. Okay. 
Who's the Black Sam Bellamy? That was his ship that and he got when he was like 27. Okay. And it was one of the strongest ships barrel. in the Atlantic period. On the ship. The only thing that took him down. Oh, we're already was on. Literally we're already on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they came can go back and forth. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then you can produce. Nobody else could beat him. Somewhere. It's a good story. Produce here. How long did he pirate? The unfortunately only like five or six years. Yeah, the, yeah. Actually, he was one the of the age of piracy is actually not that long. Sure, yeah. it's like, it's like, he's also it's one like of the, the oh, years, three right. arguably either him or the, there's a Chinese uh, woman who had the largest, like, essentially pirate empire. Okay. That okay. the Chinese government, Dutch, and then the, and like, four different governments, like, yeah. okay. four, when we walk four over different governments came after her and couldn't stop her. So they basically said, okay, please, sure. we will pardon yeah. you so and all of your crew across everything. Play just this stop. For one huh. Like you'll be a lord. Here's land. Here's everything. Not just yeah. No, 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 no. Right? There's three, baby. There's oh, three. there's three. I couldn't. But see. he had more money. Okay. Got it. Okay. Uh, next movement. Yeah. Would you like to buy that? And oh, we have all this on. We have. Oh yeah, I got to put it on the ship. Oh, if you if you put this seven. on a card and you upgrade, you keep the uh, this. We right? have to no. save one off here. Uh, what do you mean? If I put this here, is that an upgrade right? to Captain? Oh, yeah, Captain yeah. Still keeps Sorry, this you only ever sleep on cards right. you've played, got which it. all then get discarded. Yes, so you can't not even later, though. So um, turn that in for one. Maybe I don't let's, say if you, let's say here, this is a level one. If I was going to upgrade this, I keep those three cannons. I just move yep. that. Right? That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Aside. The advancements once sleeve to just stay on the card for the rest of the game. Cool. And two yeah. to buy that one. All right. Wow, we're all just hanging out here. <laughs> hello, That's apparently hello. the cool. Do we want to go uh, into pirate mode? Oh shit! Oh shit! I did language. not see. So, oh, I mean language. <laughs> yeah, we locked. <laughs> I didn't. Okay. Anyway, our turn was we moved. We got a bunch of barrels and stuff. We moved here, here, and then here. We took the Picked two up, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, advancements, and these are the advancements here. If I do both of these, I very, very good. One, right. If I put these on I the same card, I wish I would have uh, saw I that. Choose one row. Yeah. You do all of them. You, you do everything on the card. Thank you, Gary, for letting us know. Oh, good night, you get Vladimir. Do, you get to do everything on the card. Hey, Peter. Yeah, let's spread that out a bit. How does the ship work? Roll the cubes. I'll show you, Peter. You're gonna see a battle at some point. All right. You will. We're yeah. Two of us. At least two of us are playing pretty aggressive this game. So. I'm trying to catch up to the creator. We're note, um, <laughs> wish me luck. Yeah, note that uh, Should I save? there are certain games that don't play that aggressive. It's kind of up to players' call. Should like I I've definitely seen these? games where players never fight each other. Where's the fun We actually haven't. No, I fought. I fought. What do we want to put? The, the, no, I didn't. They they chose not to fight me. Oh, I forget his name. Uh, Joey, I want to say the, the guy who created uh, yeah. Growl. The, um, he brought a, a game for yeah. Christmas. The, um, the, it's Better, basically huh? it's like coasters. But it's called Skulls, yeah, but um, it's oh, kind of a bidding one. game. Yeah. But depending how you bid, you or can get people point. to then overbid, then like basically shooting folks in the foot. Okay. okay. And he'd yeah. never seen somebody play aggressive like I had, where literally like, hey, I'm not going up to like, oh, we're bidding 13, 14, whatever. No, five, we're doing the sale, hands down now. And <laughs> basically, force people, okay, you've got to draw it's and shoot whatever you have. My turn. Yeah. All right, all right. This captain yeah. I play, You're welcome. which has an ability that says level up this card, so I will That's pop that ability. Note, I'm doing that ability before I do his regular ability, meaning his regular ability has not yet been done, so now I can do it, which has the pirate flag icon on it. I have the attack flag, so I can initiate an attack this turn, and I will do so against you. Okay. Um, I have five guns. Crap, that doesn't sound good. So if I, I win this fight, I do a damage to you, and then if I can do more damage in the battle, I can sink him and steal treasure from him. What? This is the this is the this is the risk of fighting merchant ships, right? Is the fact that oh, this this was um, what you fought and lost to. I have no guns. I had a horrible draw there. So you have one, one. to my five, and I win ties. If I lose this battle, I will be mighty disappointed. I've seen worse though. <laughs> now saving the slot. This is not gonna go well. Our next turn, I can still equip this then, right? Oh, okay. Oh, the battle. The battle. <sighs> Uh, Does so a bumping I, out count? So I decisively win. <laughs> oh no! I got wrecked. Um, however, I don't get. I, we actually need to get the same amount of plunder, and I and luckily so for we you, plunder each other. What's very lucky for you is I didn't hit any damage zones, so oh. you lose the battle and take one damage. Okay, but I didn't, so I'm not hit, any yet. I didn't hit any extra damage. So yeah, it's it's four to Josh's zero. Yeah, and then I plunder. And then you a both get a cargo and a coin. Okay. <laughs> um, however, I won another battle, so I'm continuing to make progress. Oh, I really want to do one damage, because now I'm going to pop this other ability that says, if this card has three cannons on it, it does, it has four. Hello, Aunt Bridgie. Do one damage to all adjacent ships, all ships within one space. <gasps> so if I had done a single extra damage to you, I would have sunk oh, you, but you both okay. take one. <laughs> yeah, so I'm in trouble. I expect you to sail away and not be a vulnerable target for them. Oh, uh, this is here, by the way. Note that. Uh, ships in harbor may be attacked, but they get plus four cubes in battles. If okay. the defender gets Do plus I automatically four. heal when I go home or no? No. no. Oh, okay. I still got to spend there's, to do it. There's no auto healing. Okay. However, I have a level four crew. Yeah. Uh, 
in my hand. Oh, that's my deck. Sorry. Oops. See, we just got damaged and we that's didn't get anything for it. Yeah, we're at the wrong place at the wrong time. I guess I don't have a... Oh, that, this card was at level Grant, 4. Grant, that's a good dude. This card... I, 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 that was the card I leveled up, and I put it from level 3 to level 1 by accident. Um, this card auto-heals the damage on my ship. Um, and I make 4 cargo on my ship or at harbor. I'm going to make yeah, it on my ship. Any of those ship. 4 is fine. Because why wouldn't you... Um, well, I might not have the room. If I'd plundered a bunch of stuff, I wouldn't oh, have had room for it. That's super, why I did the battle uh, first. Okay. Control. So I could decide. Um, oh, like oh, Jesus. Here. And of course, before yeah. I want to, before I add all Wait, that four, I want to set my sailing to uh, three. three then I make all that stuff. Sorry, is it any one person gets four markers over here, or four things are covered? Four achievement markers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So right now there's only one. Yeah, it, it's gonna it's gonna snowball, right? Like, okay. so I've got one card at level four. Three cards at level four gets you that achievement. I've got two battle wins, so oh, I'm progress okay. towards two. Also, permit like we we've made we progress towards a bunch of them, right? We move yeah. Mm -hmm. um, interesting. We All right. I yeah. make two cargo at home based on the cards I've. And we'll see what happens, but yeah, yeah. this is yeah, pretty decent. Yeah, we have a decent decent setup. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, you guys bought the cards I want, which is super lame. However, I will dump. <laughs> uh, three cargo on my ship to buy this upgrade. I was really hoping to draw the cannons. Um, what do I want to do? Do I just want to go home? I think I might just want to go home this turn. Yeah, I'm going to... the wounds after the fight. You couldn't take that 4-0. <laughs> <laughs> I really wanted to sink you. I, I know. Not one of my five cubes hit an extra damage. I got lucky. Pretty disappointing. <laughs> right. uh, I am just gonna. You want a drink, babe? Peace out and go home. John, you okay. good? That lets me. Uh, can I get one of the Capri Suns? Yes. Thank you. Would you like mango or blueberry? I like mango. All right. That's, good, that's a good choice. Good choice. Uh, Donzerino. An almost great turn. It was still a good turn. <laughs> I will continue leaving that card. Disappointingly, for the first mate, when you're building stuff, does it have to be on the island you're at, or can it be on an island you control? They can't see you when you're. Sorry, tower. sorry. There you go. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> what was the question? The first mate. Do you have to build on an island you are currently at, or do you have to be nope, just? No, it can be. It can be any island that you control. Okay. I need a new one of these. Battle abilities. Okay. Do want to sleep well, I am going to. It hurts, but I'm going to jettison my barrel, move the one coin over to get one. Yeah, one movement. Probably that sucks. Good. So goes my discard pile. Oh, sorry. It may sound odd, but I apologize. I do want to play one more card. I'm going to play this for the one extra cargo because I'm drawing extra cards this turn. Okay. Play that, and I actually am going to sleep on. I'm going to move one. I'm actually going to go away from home because I have one movement, so it's not really not a point. Otherwise, and then I am going to play two influence there. Uh, doesn't give you control? Yet. Yes, correct. Can the bosun repair the ship or only upgrade it? The bosun adds upgrades. Okay. Um, the crew is what crew at level 2, 3, and 4 is okay. what does upgrades. Says, has a or does fire repairing. X. If I had yeah. the, you know, yeah. the cargo to do it. So I took 2 damage early in the game. I've been able to heal all of it gradually. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you're at 4, which is... Ooh, scary. And if you stay at ocean, you are, you are a very vulnerable target. <laughs> Callie's just going to try to save I had one fight. movement. Sa save battle. Okay. Save, so save some battle cards to, so you can win that fight. 4 back at home. <laughs> you have so much cargo at home. I haven't been able to. You need to work on your ship speed a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> Can't buy anything. There's no point in looking. Um, okay, and then John. I am done. How are we doing? None yes. of those get You're upgraded. right, John basically crushes everybody in the card drafting games. Yes. <laughs> was that a, was that somebody's comment? Yeah, you, you you know Peter Bong. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Peter. <laughs> oh, Peter. Hey. 
Yeah, I thought about going easy on these guys, and then I chose not to. <laughs> I respect that. Well, we, we, we know our way around these guys. This is getting upgraded. Yeah, yeah, you guys are gamers, so. I'm gonna so buy this is getting upgraded. It's just, it's just learning about here. what cards are. Uh, what's what's uh? And then I'll move. What's the best strategy I'll for play a, a table? Sale looks to move like? so Absolutely. I can That's move what three. learning uh, okay. these type of games is mainly about. And Absolutely. Then... This is a um, this is this is definitely a game with with uh levels of like depth and skill that you that you um that you gain as the game goes on, as you play here. more. I'm getting in that camera. Then over. I will. Yeah, Josh, put it between you and John. Actually. Do some. Do oh yeah, like up here maybe. Four influence. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. I can just be literally on the on the seat next to you guys. I was gonna put on the pillow. Just put on the pillow. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yay. Right. Wouldn't it make We're more good. sense okay. like here though? Probably actually. Yeah. I'm <laughs> kicking Touché. people out. See <laughs> down aisle. Okay. You're placing One, how many? Two. Just two. Uh, three. Three. Five, 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 four. Four. Okay. Mm. So green. Mm. Booted. Why not take purple off? He's your opponent. I'm not the threat so he is. Then, then you have, you would, could you have a b bonus one here? Automatically, yeah. So now we control it. I'll take one of mine, one of his. And this produces <laughs> any island in row three. So we'll Which produce it. Oh, very nice it in. It makes two barrels. And a coin, right? Because it's because yep. of this? Okay. Oh, and a coin, yes. I keep, yep, yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah. And then we'll go put it on our ship. Can we make it back to... We have two. Um, two movement left? No, when you get to 30 here. money in your chest, you must announce that you have 30 room. money. Um, oh. You don't have to tell them how many you have. You might have some amount more than 30. You're at 30. But when you reach 30, you have to say, oh, I'm, not, I'm not at 30 yet. We couldn't buy that one, huh? 28. Uh, no, it's I'm four. Just checking how we could buy that one, huh? <laughs> yeah. 26. <laughs> yeah. Negative two. One coin. Oh, no, I. Oh, I, yeah, you can buy two. You can buy two, but you have, you're going to have to at least. You can only have one to slot at a time. Yeah, okay. It's respectable, not. Um, should I play them. these ones? What are they? They're just generate. Yeah, yeah. Their, I mean, okay. unless you want to upgrade one of them. No, if I want to upgrade, I have to play it. Oh, how big is our table? Uh, um, yeah. Sorry, level up. I mean. Not huge. Yeah. It's a good three and a half by yeah. like four, maybe. Yeah. All right, done. <laughs> and we got upgrade. Oh, this table here? Yeah, this is like... Oh, you're done, Kelly? Yes. Okay, I got another card to level four, four which I will be playing this turn. So that means I have two level four cards. Can you put that on the yeah. middle. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Thank you. The third, the next time I get a level four card, um, that will become that will turn into an achievement. Oh, I have a level four one. Um, I don't think I do. Okay, uh, I'm at a friendly port. I'll set my sailing to I just freeze. two, which is fine. Um, no bonus draw this hand. Nope. I'm gonna save this card. How does the ship work? Damn. The ship is the marker for where you're moving around the board. If you mean this ship, this lets you know what kind of cargo you can they're, carry. They're probably asking about that one. Oh, that's for battles. Yeah. Um, it's kind of like a dice tower. Yeah. Uh, I don't. Not. I'm not planning on getting a battle this turn, so I can't demonstrate. Uh, but it resolves battles via dropping cubes in and um, spreading around. We will get into more battles. Um, yeah. I am playing a pretty aggressive strategy this game. This is just. I'm trying to turn. catch up to him and deck, hit him so, back. So I'm gonna spend one of my movement. Sorry, I want to load. Oh yeah, I get to see what this is. If it sucks or not. Oh, merchant ship. Merchant ship. This is such not a good turn to fight, though. Oh, merchant ship. Um, okay. okay, I'm gonna spend one move to go here, and I'll just I just won't bring cargo with me. That's fine. Um, will I not bring cargo with me? Uh, no, I'm gonna bring. Yeah, I'm not gonna bring cargo with me. Uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and drop four influence with my upgrade dude and take my island back. <gasps> Done. I was happy you didn't go into pirate mode, because then I, I get an extra permanent cube for having conquered the oh, island. Okay. It's becoming I forget hard. about the pirate mode. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, I will produce at that island for three coins and one cargo, and then just sail back home and un oh, wrong ship. sail back home and unload um, that three coins into my chest, and I'm done. Okay. okay. I am going to use my deck hand with my f upgrade of three flags to get three movement because I've uh, four otherwise, which is enough to get me home. Do I want to fight that merchant ship on the way? I kind of do. <laughs> There's a good chance oh, it just sinks you. <laughs> do you know if I beat it? 
Uh, even if you beat it, if it hits a damage spot, it just sinks you. That's going to hurt. Okay, no. no the, so so here's, here's the consideration. When you get sunk, you will lose five money from your chest. Or, if you have more than five money on your ship, you will lose all the money on your ship. You don't, so you lose five money from your chest. If some other player was the cause of you sinking, they get all the money you lost. If a merchant ship sinks you, you just, just lose, lose the it. five. Okay. So that's a consideration, because um, you're a pretty juicy target for one of us right, right now. now. Yeah, I'll just but go you, home. if you can heal the damage, you know, uh, without sinking, then. Um, so yeah, one, two, three, better. four. Yeah, I'll just go home. Hide in harbor. So you have the plus four harbor defensive bonus now. Yeah. Your turn, Cali. Is that it? Uh, no, no, no. Um, I'm also going to load up my ship. And sail back <laughs> out again? No. I, that's my move. Okay. That's all. It okay. took me all that to get oh, home. Oh, you can put your but coins in your. You get to check. unload yeah, all your. Those are gonna go yeah. in uh, there. But I can I load, spend, load more? Uh, yes, loading is a com completely free action. Okay. You can do as much as you want. Right? Then I will use the boson to uh, note, spend note, three. The boson has a question mark. So oh. you spend three cargo from harbor or boat to do that ability. You don't have to. It doesn't have to. If I it, could have done that anywhere. Yeah. If it has it, if it has a boat okay. icon, it has to be from boat. If it has a question um, mark, is anywhere. If it has an anchor, anchor icon, it has to be from harbor. And if it has a question mark, it's any combination of either. I'll still go with that because I need to load up anyway. So, sure. okay. Spend my three. Uh, I'm I'm gonna upgrade. Yep. That any either one of these or you 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 you're getting a basic one, so you can pick any of those upgrades and put them anywhere on your ship. Uh, yeah. Okay, this means, though, if I have two on here, I can't use the cannon then, correct? This has to be clear to use the cannon? If you have even one on there, you can't use that. That's correct. Correct, okay. But again, you can move stuff around as freely as you want. Really, you're only blocked if you have so much stuff that all the spots are full. Got it. I'm gonna try. Huh. Is it? No, oh, I'm not, not by a long shot. <laughs> oh, no, because uh, that one. Okay, I'm going to spend here. Oh, look at that. Okay, four. I'm going to put a fort on one of my places. Uh, how do I do that? Oh, you got a first mate. Uh, you, take, you take the uh, fort. Okay. Place it on any island you control, which is currently Just that or that. No, no, uh, no, he doesn't control that. You have two yeah. here. Yes. I, oh, don't I don't control, control that anymore. She huh? took it from nope. you. That's the only one you can put it on. Okay, then. That's where I'm going. Yep. Cool. Um, so what that means for those watching, um, Callie and I can no longer uh, add cubes to that island. Um, we may, however, choose to attack her fort if our ship is there, and if we win that battle, we destroy the fort, thus allowing us to again place cubes on the island. Who stole our island, baby? I John did. did. John I stole it. I Beat him. Your island? I'm going to spin yeah. one. Yeah. Like, I dispute that claim. Port. Well, well it, was it was ours. Yeah. For a period it, was, of time. it was first uh. mine. You guys were the usurpers. <laughs> and now I'm done. Okay. So that's my okay. two. I get to... Well, a, good, no, a good turn. Hiding. Nothing part. to put on these. I'm like I need my four. Okay. And you just have to do more. Okay. Good. I'm going to get a sail because we're okay, laden down with goods <laughs> and, you're, and you're not at a friendly port yeah so you, you so i gotta yeah. do one that is your full movement yeah. okay <laughs> yep to put well you could you have bought some oh you couldn't have bought anything okay. no it's three we don't have nearly that as many coins as we need though to get in there get in there and then uh a barrel here. How many do we need? 30. Oh, yeah. okay. And then I figured we keep these. What do we have this extra over here, huh? Yeah. We put on one of these. Oh, we can't put it. Would we want just, we only want, we only really need to want, save one, right? Okay. I think, right? Well, mm -hmm. no, because I. We do, we can't put this on one of those, if if I keep them both. Yeah. Yeah. Discard we should. This one. We should take this one, put it on here, because that's going to give us okay. Cube. It's the right benefit for this. Mhm. Mm uh, only problem is this doesn't help, so we need yeah. to have a, a card that generates for that here. But yeah, we'll take that way. We can upgrade that okay. one. Keep it this one. I guess. And we're done. Okay. I did my level up. Oh, we were it done. It was that card, and I don't. I actually want to play it this turn. Yeah. 
Um, actually, oh yeah. My girlfriend's dog is scared of Beavis. It'd be great cornholio when he started crawling at me. <laughs> oh, okay. Beavis and Butthead. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna hold on to this card as well. Makes me a little sad, but that's okay. This is gonna make one at home. This is gonna make another one at home. This is going to repair damage. Doesn't matter, I, don't, I no longer have damage. Um... Not playing these is just <laughs> brutal. I'm gonna do it. I'm actually gonna play them, and I'm gonna open my turn. I'm, I'm gonna. All oh, that's fine. Nothing changes about that. Uh, when I play my captain, it levels up. What? I just can't. Can't see him. That's because he's standing up. <laughs> I can't and that makes two cargo at home. I have a ton of cargo at home. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and spend nine cargo. Oh. For this ability, which says spend nine cargo and or coin to gain any ship upgrade. I'll take the double cannon. <gasps> Damn. And in spite of your defense bonus, I feel pretty good about this. And I'm going <gasps> to take a swing at you because you still got four damage on your ship. So my captain lets me initiate the battle. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. I have how many of where I am? You have plus four, five... These don't need to be on your ship. Cool. They can be in your harbor. Six, six. seven, eight, nine, oh. ten. All right, let's do Come this. Come at me. Let's do this. All I need is one damage to thank you. Oh, I'm going to do a lot me. to you, though. Oh, I, 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 I might, need to give I you might ten, lose yeah? this fight, but I am okay I have to give you ten, yeah? Huh? You need ten squares? Are you? Uh, I need ten cubes. Who's? You guys are fighting on the friendly port? It's ten on seven, <laughs> so uh, I win ties. Come at me, bro. <laughs> ten on seven, <laughs> I win ties, so this is... A, how are you I would, fighting in the, I, the I fighting was, card? Yeah, yeah I yeah, played yeah, a bunch yeah. of cards. My captain. So that means the start of my turn, I'm not going to have new draw, huh? Those will stay in play, and you get to use them on your next turn. Oh. Yeah. We do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, Take good choice. I, like I would that. say I have I have a slight disadvantage here, but I do win ties. So it's 7 to 10. There's a decent chance I win. This you is a pretty epic gonna, battle. You both are going to get so much stuff for this. One damage. Do you have any battle abilities? Uh, I'm going to go with no because I don't know what you mean. I have two battle abilities. So I have a battle ability that says drop two cubes, which will get me up to nine cubes. And I have another battle ability Court. that gives me money if I win. Here it goes. Oh, I forgot the one. I could have played one more. This Damn one it. missed. And, okay, one of my cubes, this is a redrop. One You're of my cubes me? has landed in the damage zone, which is bad news for you. Okay. Okay, and I'm also winning the battle currently. No, no. Really? I'm, I'm losing the battle. Oh, like, wait a minute. You have an exploder? Okay. So your hope is that you bump my cube out of the damage zone with these redraws. Fingers crossed. Nope. Uh, this Negative. is this is a four-player game. The other other color is blue. Okay, so what are we doing? Uh, and... Well, I can decide now to pop a battle ability and drop two more. I have to I have to decide if the risk is worth it. I might get more plunder, but I also might knock my cube, the one really crucial cube that's sitting right now. You have to have right it now. there, yeah. Um, now it's in the corner. It seems unlikely. I, I've done this before, and and it and screwed it has knocked it out. I'm okay. gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and drop two more. Is the game colorblind friendly? Can I add more too? Oh, and I hit I hit an, I hit four damage instead. <laughs> Both cubes landed in damage. You were gonna sink anyway, so it actually didn't do okay. me any good. Um, Woo! Uh, Oh, oh it's June a bug. A big June bug, wow. <laughs> uh, okay, that's and then I pop my captain ability, which means if I win, I get something. I'm not going to win, so it doesn't mean any good. And that's the end of the battle. So you okay. decisively win in battle strength, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> you only need to it. you only need to win by Still one. Still sunk, yeah. Um, so you you win you win. Uh, the, the, Do I get more loot? The, you win the Pyrrhic victory here. <laughs> okay. Um, because uh, I sink you by doing a fifth damage on you. But I think in um, ports. Plunder wise, you're going to get one cargo, two, three cargo, four cargo, Jeez. and a coin. Okay. I'm going to get. I had four cargo on my ship, so I just leave it there because I lose that, but then I gain new four you don't, cargo. You don't lose it. it. It's just in your port. Okay. And a coin, you said? And a coin. Um, I am going to get one cargo and then three cargo and or coin. I think I'm going to take Do you take any damage at all? All is coin. I lost the battle, so I take a damage. I have an ability to repair. A? I will repair the damage. Just one? What? None of your cubes hit damage zones. Oh. You, so... you overdid, Mike, you should have rolled for me. You overdid the <laughs> battle win. Um, I take three. Okay, that was a pretty epic battle. So you are sinking. 
which means go, I get go, the go, sink go, a go. chip achievement and I steal five I coins lose? from your treasure chest. <sighs> okay. Here you can Do I lose my upgrade or anything or So so um uh all that you lose from, from having being sunk is you owe me five coins. You don't your engine doesn't hurt at all. Your ship doesn't get worse, your deck you doesn't have get one worse. On here. All of this clears. Is that a four or oh yeah. It's a four. Wait, is this yours here? This goes into I know I have to pick it up, so it's important. You're in port. You're in port. Yeah, it's good. Oh, this okay. Well, I'm sure. Yeah, that can just go in there. Sorry. Having having got having gotten that treasure from him, I got to thirty money in my chest. <gasps> uh. It is a one to four player game, right? One to four. One to four. That's and right. it's also and, blue uh, is the other color, correct? Blue. Oh, so if blue. one more achievement gets unlocked, that's it. Careful, Josh. You're like screaming Sorry. into this thing, dude. Sorry, these everybody. Are, these are yours. Okay. So that was. I really tried to be. You were literally that was totally like worth it. I, yeah. Totally worth it. Um. Interesting. Is there anything useful I want to do? If we don't fight, we're going to lose. Mm -hmm. Can I fight you in the port right here? I have right two here? speed, so I'm just going to go one, two, and uh, drop, fight me a, again? drop a cube oh. here. Okay. You can't fight the same thing twice in the same turn. So if I would lost that battle, I couldn't choose to attack you. Since you're here, he's can losing I fight battles, you? But he's you could choose to attack me if you have, a, yeah. if you have yes. an attack flag yes. icon, which I've oh. had. It's this okay. icon here. What is this? Hard. Okay, it's got it. Good. That's how you initiate attacks against other oh, players. Wow. You need that okay. account. Mm -hmm. um, four, I am done my turn. Can you end your turn in your own port with a pirate flag? Uh, you cannot be in pirate mode at harbor. Okay. I don't know what you want to do. Nobody's ever. You said I keep these. Yes? Yeah. They're in play for your for your current turn. <laughs> okay. I draw. I had two draw bonuses, so I draw six cards. Yeah. Him? Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. Probably lose, but. Maybe I should feel bad because I'm not going easy on you guys at all, let's do but I'd rather, I'd rather learn better. <laughs> I'd rather learn better. I'd rather learn better. Yeah, let's do it. Let's I fight him. Why not? It's my turn. Are you done? Oh, you, you were that was his fight? Yeah. He attacked me when I was at home. Okay. Normally I wouldn't because I had such a bad chance of winning it. Yeah. But I only needed to do one damage to sink him, which was worth it. If he hadn't have the, if he wasn't at four damage, I wouldn't have done it. Um, the other achievements, other people can still get them, or yes. achievements are never blocked. Okay. Uh, the only one that the can, only one, this one. Yeah, yeah, the explorer can be. Actually, we can take What's our cube back here? off of that because yeah. we. Did can, you? Oh, you got thirty it's, coins. It's impossible to do it. Yeah. yeah What's the twelve here? The 30. That 12 means just spend twelve barrels. In one turn. To, to achieve that, mm -hmm. you spend it for that. Oh, in one turn. In one go. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Is this bonus points at the end of the game? Those are all, yeah, achievements are worth points at the end. How much are they worth? What it says. Three. Three points? Mm -hmm. What does X6 mean? You need six of those. Six permanent cubes, and then you get that achievement. And it's worth three points. He has three right now. Six permanent cubes. What are permanent cubes? These. You guys have two okay. currently. Three. 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 We'll take a swing at a merchant ship. Yep. You don't need an attack flag to attack a merchant ship. Right. Okay. So, so I got if you, four if you have right a ton there. of guns that you've played. Oh, note, those cards you played against me mm -hmm. are in play. You can't choose to not play them on your turn. Oh. They're in play. Like, you can't be like, actually, I'm going to keep it in my hand. Okay. Right. So any card you played during the battle against me on my turn, I'm you get to now, use yeah. on your turn, but you can't choose to like not, not play it, it and save it. Was that your first battle win? Or not? Yeah, yeah, he beat me. That was his first one. Oh, the first one. That was the first time you've ever won a battle, then, Josh. It was my second battle. Okay. He lost to a merchant ship, and then okay. And then okay. Beat I'm gonna spend one to move here and fight this merchant ship since I already have five, six cannons ready to he go. He does, Gary. Seven cannons ready to go. Always. Five, one, two. <laughs> I what? So seven against the merchants. What? Uh, well, we'll see. Don, don, you have seven don. cannons. Yeah. It is a three. I think I'm gonna wreck this. You, you have a you have a significant advantage. I've seen people lose though. <laughs> Fair enough. It can happen. If you lose, you'll probably get a ton of points. Oh, plunder. since I sunk, I'm st I lost all my um, damage. Two damage. Okay. Cool. Yeah. All right. So we got. Oh, you barely won. <laughs> That's exactly what you want though. When you barely okay. win, you get more plunder. Okay. Oh, did you? <laughs> did you just mess it up, Mike? Nope. You barely won by even less. Okay, so I'll get even more. Yeah, you tied one to one. Active player wins ties, so okay. you're gonna actually get a bunch of plunder from this. Okay. <laughs> okay, so uh, does does the boss get anything? Or not the boss? The chip get anything other than just fighting? I don't like, think it, so. all, it ignores it ignores all the. It doesn't the get plunder. Right? Yeah. So to the colorblind question, 
Um, I'm oh. going through the questions. So I um, question. I actually don't n know colorblind stuff off the top of my head. Um, uh, but my understanding is uh, these colors were chosen by Ian um, O'Toole, the artist, um, uh, partly because they're, I believe they're supposed to work well for colorblind people um, and, and also fit the style that he wanted at the same time. Okay. That, that's my understanding. Um, but uh, I, I don't say that with 100% certainty. So with this, then he's going to get, he has three cubes in the very back area here, which is two barrels, right, on his ship. So yeah, he gets six barrels on his ship? Yeah, if he can't fit them, though, he's... Yeah, he's How many he's barrels gonna, can you have um, left? He's got room for another four, four. things. So he can choose okay. what to put on his ship. The rest he either choose, puts on the island or the three in the, one. the ocean. Oh, give me the three and one for barrels. Three... Three barrels and one... Three coins and one barrel? What do you, what oh, you, he's four barrels or too, coins? Right? Yeah, you get you get the choice of, of so up, you're getting, to up to two coins and up to eight as, barrels. And up to as many barrels as yeah. up to as okay, many barrels. Give me two coins. Okay, I got that over you here. Two I, I got two coins over here. And then you get and then you get two barrels. Yeah, you okay. get okay. Oh, actually, I got you it. Get, you get any combination of four that you would like, except you can't go past two coins. Uh, with the rest cool. of the barrels you would get, you may choose to throw them into the ocean or put them onto yeah, my island. No problem. <laughs> Enjoy your <Yeah>. pool party. <laughs> your choice. <laughs> okay, we're here though, so we get to start with we get to and we can also take these if we wanted to as well. Oh, cool. okay. It doesn't yeah. matter. We actually need to, we actually need to. Um, do we want anything on the that. board? Is that what you were Because um, you were looking. You had all this time to look. So okay. you yeah, I'm not done. Not. I fucking fought the merchant ship, and I get the And remember, upgrade. we count as anywhere here, so we can yeah. go on any of these. Yeah, yeah. Do we want... Okay, so those are all spent. Do we want That's another... That. Do we want that? Yeah, we can get Oh, we can't. Oh, it has to be in the middle, so we can't. No. We need a tough one. Top Hold one. on, did you... Oh, is it? <gasps> did you count... Uh, oh, actually, I don't control the thing. Okay, I'm going to spend another one to move here. You do control there. that island? Yeah. So the bursar is going to do his thing. So that island makes two coins and a cargo. Cool. Which you can... We have no can't more... Pick I'm, it up. I'm just going to toss two cargo and get two coins. Um, okay. Now you but could have... On your way, you could have swung back into harbor and unloaded and then gone. Oh, I'm going to go back there anyway. And do we want to fight first? I got other... Yeah. Uh, who would we fight, Josh? John. <laughs> John? We don't want to fight John inside the, the harbor. Yeah, I get a but lot of bonuses plus... My cards are awesome. We would fight now, now, I'm now you'll know public information. One. My mega battle card is in in yeah. my discard pile currently. Um, but I am. I, in, I do actually. have the four cube bonus in harbor, and I got still just have natural three guns on my board. And now he's in the harbor. <laughs> go, you can go fight this merchant ship. If you're if you're jonesing for a fight. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I mean, we can fight. There's no reason not to fight if we were you know, like even. We just don't want John to get it. We, we want to fight Josh. He's in the harbor now too. That's fine. <laughs> just give him something. It doesn't matter. Okay. It's yeah. like it's. I I, I almost feel fighting is just a mutual gain. Or even yeah. if you lose, you're gonna get a bunch of stuff. So yeah. you want you want to win by sinking them so you get. The, all the coins from them, but Safe. the only thing we don't need, we, well, if we win a fight, we get one of these. I don't know. It's, it would be nice if there was a merchant ship that was actually not all the way out there. In the middle. Yeah. 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 You could also for... just save your fight cards and make and start sailing out there. You don't have to play out your whole hand, right? But if you have two good fight fine. cards, <laughs> if you have two good fight cards, you can, how you how can many, save them. How much them. fight do we have total to mess um, with? We have do we have four? Four, and then these things here. And, and a note one. for those on the stream, again, this is a... I, I chose to play a highly aggressive strategy, with which may have been some groupthink. Okay. I don't know. They, they saw how effective it can be when uh, when you go heavy Three battle. And I think you were inclined to go heavy already, battle also. Yeah, I already yeah, was. Yeah. <laughs> but but um, that's not... Dude just came back. The um, that's not sure a... Same um, one. That's not necessarily how the game always plays. Like, I definitely plays games where I've never... I haven't initiated a battle the entire game. I played a very economical strategy with a fast Let's ship sailing around, picking up two, specific advancements, um, and, do. and doing island control and building buildings, um, uh, and and uh, generally trying to avoid other people attacking me. Um, and that's also a very effective strategy. I I just I mean like in in a lot of instances, if you can battle and it's going to be pretty close, if you can get into a battle, if you can get into a battle with four or more cubes, you'll generally generate stuff from yeah. it. 
Mm -hmm. um, and, if, and if you're not taking damage too much... Even Josh, um, he fought the ship. He was not going to get the card he wanted, but then he went and just fought the ship and, and lost and still got the resources, went back and got it. So yeah. those damage resulted in me being able to sink it. Sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he also didn't have the ability to... Him not losing that merchant ships mean I don't I didn't have him. the movement to go anywhere else. he still else, has so. the five coins that I didn't steal from him. Sure, right? sure. Yeah. But I mean, like, maybe he should have gotten a heal card like, like you got going on here. Oh, I leveled up I leveled up a crew to level four to, to repair my ship. Yeah. Because I, I did the same thing. I took damage early, but I made sure to clear it. It's our turn, Kelly. Oh, okay. All right, John, you're done. Josh, you're done? Yep. Yeah. Okay. okay. Go ahead yeah, and I've do what you want to do. I've already upgraded my uh, stuff and everything. Yeah, good to go. I have two movement. Yep. What is your win, or win rate of the game? I want... This game? Two cards. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, I am high. Very, I'm very good at this game. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How am I doing for this? Literally being my first play. Great. Okay. okay. You picked it up crazy fast. I'm a fast player. I don't, I don't, we didn't even teach you. You just started playing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I just no, taught I'm, you. By, I'm just by a fast player. Yeah. And no, that's, that's kind of what I do on the stream. Yeah. Like nine times out of ten, when I'm playing a game, I'm, I'm playing a game. I'm playing it for the first time right now. Right. Yeah. So uh, no, you picked I've it up crazy. Well, it. that's because you show up five minutes late every time. <laughs> yeah. Five minutes before the stream starts. <laughs> even during okay. COVID, he yeah, can't make it on time because he's got something else he's doing. I was oh, actually shit. at home. And, um, I know. Yeah, no, taking care of my girlfriend tonight because she had a um, uh, migraine today. Did we take like, really bad Come migraine. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this four. island just keeps going back and forth. Just so you <laughs> control it more. Yeah, have fun with that. And then... It's going to eventually be impossible. I need more. To go. Yeah, I know. I, I need more Don't islands worry I control. Don't worry. Yeah, go for other islands. Yeah. I'll, I'll buy this one. The three... Pretty good. And then Pretty dang good. Uh, what's Josh's... Generate. Oh, okay, okay. John's, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, was that a question yeah. someone asked? What was my win rate? I mean, yeah. more weird. Yeah, very weird. high. Yeah. That one to um, generate one here. Yep. Uh, and then so I've played... Uh, I, back and do I've made one? solo mode for the game um, scalable and difficulty. Or go get one more um, card. From normal to uh, extreme. So it goes normal, uh, hard, expert, extreme. Um, extreme is, is extreme is hard for me to so win, but I can win. Um, I played. Uh, there's you play ghost stories. Well, give us I have three. Though. Ghost stories. Well, we'll only be out by one. Yeah. Actually, give us five player. Player. One about. Ghost stories is pretty hard to no, win. This one I mean, they're very. Home. They're such different games. Oh, in terms I mean, of actually, one be computer versus it's been too long for me to play ghost stories. I haven't played it in a long time, and I never got as good at ghost stories as I am at this. Okay. Because that's co-op. Oh, do we need a thing here? She or you bought, bought it. it. Okay. It'll refill that one. So, so I, um, there's a good, campaign right? mode you for the game. Yeah. We're going to reveal for more reveal? about on okay. the Kickstarter. That's the top one. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's okay. amazing. Uh, I played well, a campaign four, on on expert. Three. So we're just short of extreme, uh, which is which at the time it was a seven game it. campaign. It, I've, cha I've modified it to a six game campaign. Question: um, if We we want to buy that. Uh, this is going to generate one, two, three, uh, four cargo mm -hmm. but we don't have an, enough it would stop Wait. we'd stop at three you can't take it all in you can take three of it you can but take you can't three. take all of it okay even if we wanted to buy though we have to have four first mm -hmm. yeah 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 because you have to finish that action can... before doing something else uh, so in the, in the seven game campaign i won four of the seven games okay. against extreme difficulty uh or no not extreme um expert um and then won the campaign. Really need to won the solo days. campaign yeah um, does it I have a buddy who might who might be as good, if not better, than me at this game, though. Once you, you know, once we get the fourth achievement on the board, the does it automatically stop, one. or do other players get a turn? Oh yeah, I don't know if I explained that in detail how it ends, so I'll just go for it. I'll just explain it. So oh, uh, no. when someone gets to their, so the, the the timing check for when you see if you have your fourth achievement is at the end of your own turn. So you you gain achievements oh, at the end of your own turn. Now that, you can kind of mark them off. It really, it, it really just matters. The fourth achievement can only be placed at the end of one of your own turns. Okay. Um, at so which point that, that is your last turn of the game, and each opponent gets one more turn. Okay. Importantly, okay. Um, yeah. since since uh, there's a big there's a significant last mover advantage in this kind of game. Yeah. After you've mm -hmm. taken the last turn, your own last turn of the game, uh, your cubes are two to one to convert. And you get, to and you get oh. plus two cubes Don't in all battles. So you become okay. a much harder target after you've taken your last turn okay. to, to compensate for that last mover yeah. advantage. But everyone else, if I trigger the end of the game, everyone else does get one more turn. Is it my go? Yes. It is your go, yeah. Okay, I got another level I think four card. in the, the water thing. That is a... I got the yeah, level I know. four he's, he's hanging out. You can pass me my cubes back. I have three achievements, guys. Uh-oh. 
That's it, though. It's four. I have not gotten to four yet. There's oh, no single three player. For okay, a I'm going to send this to that. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. We haven't actually gotten a single fight, unfortunately. No. Even though I've been, pre I've been I mean, prepping for it all we've game. We've had, yeah. I'm going to set my sailing to five? Five. Uh, I'm going to probably not play this card. We still need to get six of these, so we should. What do you have in hand? Mm -hmm. oh, this is supposed to be there. And we should take it. Um... One one. And not play this card. The right hand side, but okay. you know, like two barrels at home. One one. Load up four, mm -hmm. and then or sail one space yeah. to here. It's the only thing where I can see where we use can this get. influence. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I, oh, you weren't here when I explained it. This card has been edited. You guys remember right? I did. I did explain this. Okay. This card has been edited. Um, at level four, it's an and. Oh. On okay. on all levels, it's an or though. So it Got gets it. that extra bonus when it gets to level four. Okay. Um. So I'm going to punt this one off here, which gets me a permacube on here. Then I'm going to sail here and use my level 4 buccaneer to take control of this island. Ding, ding, ding. Um, oh, your silence in the chat. I expect more spamming of the five. words. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead I think and people are getting close to... He's got five permacubes. I'm going to go ahead and buy okay. this. Uh, note, I have five permanent cubes. Thank you. Uh, and then I will sail here for my fourth You have move. six permanent cubes, buddy. One, two, three, four, five. There's six. Oh, oh, this is not... Okay. Oh, okay. I never took control of it. I don't oh, know. Okay. Um, I explore this spot. <sighs> is it going to be awesome and cost only two? It's going to be awesome and cost three. Uh, I cannot afford it. Oh, that so is I will, with my last, Damn, with my last move, I will sail back a space and I'm done. Okay. Wow. Okay. Okay. Mm. I'm going to sail one. I'm two battle Only wins away one. or one permanent cube away from my fourth achievement. Jeez. Mm. No draw bonus that turn. No, no. You guys are able to say words. Spend I like words. To influence. <laughs> I'm going to boot you off of this. To well, I, I didn't hold that island for long. Not that it really mattered, but... I'm just looking for end game points. I'm not going to get first, but maybe I'll get second. I don't know. Uh, I can't sail anymore. I'm still missing something. What does the the, yeah. the the wheel do? So the wheel mm, um, the wheel does nothing unless something says it does something. So here's an okay. example. You get one cannon for every wheel on your card, and here's also a wheel. So if okay. you sleeve this with a bunch of wheels, this ability is going to make them all count yeah. as cannons. Okay. Like this one here, right? So it gives me one, two, three, four wheels. Four I get four cannons and four barrels. No, it's just four wheels, and then it's also oh, a, and one a cannon. Captain. Okay. And, and, and yeah, this gives this, me four. And if you put that. this on okay. this card, those wheels would count for both abilities. So yep. you get all the Oof. cargo and okay. they'd all but, and all the cannons. That's but unfortunately, they don't, they don't fit in this case, but. like this one here, yeah. draw a card. But it's in the it's in the top. Draw so card. okay, I'm gonna spend three here to get this. Sorry, okay. four, four. Yep. Barrel and uh, the crate. Okay. Uh, yeah, the crate counts as four. I mean three. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and and note for, for Kickstarter backers, um, uh, the the I'm using these fancy bits that I got on Game Crafter, um, uh, because they're cool. But these are not. You can't um, lose achievements. There wouldn't there wooden barrels in the in the actual game. These these are wooden. wooden these are cool. Pimp out my game that I brought, and and these metal coins are from Edge of Darkness. Four back so I, I pimped out my <laughs> copy a little bit. Ah. Uh, but the game comes with cardboard. The game comes with cardboard tokens and um and wooden wooden barrels. Wooden cardboard barrels. cardboard money to money. Well, you mean like like money. you mean wooden barrels like just a square? No, or? no, they're shaped like barrels. Okay. They look they look a little bit like this, but they're just a, they're just a, a okay. wooden token. Uh, is it, do they have threes as well, like these? Um, we're gonna. The current plan is to do um, uh, smaller and larger barrels for two, for ones and threes. Okay. We'll have three movement. Two. I need two, two three. more. I think everything else three. here is is um, either we'll as nice or less nice level, uh, level up a than the final version yes. will be. Though, okay. like these chests, okay. we've made improvements to. Well, much um, uh, uh. Uh, and there's some things we're gonna reveal that I don't want to talk about yet. We're gonna reveal oh. during the Kickstarter. That are um, up, that are way. that are upgrades. That ship, if you look at the Kickstarter page, um, the the prototype of the ship I have had the unfinished artwork. Um, Ian has since uh, finished the art on that, and it looks uh, better than the than what? the battleship. 
You cannot Gosh. make somebody lose achievements. Once they acquire an achievement, yeah, that's what I was just that's, saying. that is Yeah, you the... can't you can't push them back. No. Yeah. Okay, we're going to fight. I love this is your card. Right? <sighs> Sorry? That's your card. Oh, yes. Josh, Two. we're going to we're going to we're going to fight. Really? Hey. The battle. Uh, and you, yep. Move okay. any one cube to an adjacent damage zone. We start okay. off with one crown. Mm. Oh, this only means for upgrading for influence. These are battle actions, so we don't even use those right yeah, now. Yeah, this means get influence per cannon on this Yeah, I, I just want I mean, it's the right card to put it on. But. Sorry. Uh, so, okay. you, so note, Two, you may, uh, if you haven't done three. your level up, mm -hmm. you, you may, before the battle. I just as did. a reaction. Oh, and we can spend cubes. Well, I guess we're going to do that later. Yeah, we'll do the cubes Okay, so how many total do we get to drop? However many cannons you have. One. I can't move my including your ship. I can't move my card uh, now. Okay. You may. Oh, okay. Then yes. So one, two, three. Your stuff on here is completely fluid. Five. Oh, okay. Yeah. I okay. like that. And how okay. many for you, Josh? Three, maybe more. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing. Like, you're on, fighting on, her. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, and you got the bug on there. We got a June bug on there. He's oh, chilling. He can join. Chillin'. In the He's in the way. Yeah. Who's, whose team is he on? All right, he's on Josh's He's, team. He'll yeah. right there. Okay. okay, you ready? <laughs> right, let's zoom in on the, the June bug. All right. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. All right. All right. Wreck what's, my what's, Callie. What's the, cal what's bonus the cube bonus count? Too. It is uh, Callie's count. five to Josh's three, but we have bonuses. <sighs> and one, and two, you're the okay. active player, so you win ties. So, so a long shot odds for Josh, but place. it might work out. One one cube kind of missed. Oh, and that's another upgrade for this board. This ship, oops. Ooh. Where did it end up? I got it. Uh, this ship is going to actually uh, kind of slot in, so it's not actually. Oh, okay, so there won't loose. accidentally end up a gap there that's actually going to slot in. That's an upgrade cool. we're making to it. Okay. Oh, <clears throat> wow. Good. How well, about that? Well, we have one crown. Okay. It is zero to zero, so, so you guys are winning. Oh, anyway. by one. <sighs> yeah. But no one's no one's doing any bonus damage. Okay, so I take uh, we one can damage. As well. um, so you can do battle abilities now. You have no battle abilities? Mm. Okay. We can remove one of our cubes to do a damage and gain two coin. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay, so you, you zap him for a damage and you just get two coin on your ship for that battle ability. Any other abilities you would like to do? Probably. Uh, if, I, if we win, you have take that one less damage. One over here. Move any one cube to an adjacent damage zone. Two more damage. Ow, why are you just trying to stick with it? And that's, that's it, I think. You guys should be going for... You don't want to pop the drop, too? We did that we already. Did. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That happens technically after the initial oh, drop, but it's fine. Okay. It, it, it rarely okay. matters, but it's like the decision I was making before. It like, can knock things Do loose. I want to drop it and change oh. the current situation? I see. Um, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, that's it then, right? Yeah. Okay, so you lose the battle and take one more uh, damage. Battle, we gain one damage, actually. So we did. That's not damage. No, that no, is battle. That's I mean, I know, but sorry, I meant uh, we, we, we were was one, one to, zero. It was one to nothing, yes. guys. Yeah. Um, okay, so you cut him to four, very close to sinking him. And he didn't plunder, damage us. Plunder, plunder uh, Josh, you're going to get two cargo and one coin. Okay. And we get and any you're, combination. And you're teetering on the edge of being sunk again. Yeah. Uh, we want three coins, I think, and right you guys yeah. get You guys get two barrel from this. This, this one gives you two barrels. Yeah, but this we one, can't pick it up. You're so. not going to get three coins. Because <laughs> this gives you a coin and a barrel, and this gives you a coin or a barrel. So you can get two yeah, coins and one, one barrel. There was two, uh... Yeah, no, 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 that's one of them here. That's your plate. Oh, two barrels. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you're going to get three barrels, one coin, and then either a coin or a car another coin or cargo. Do two coins. Yeah, coins at this point in the game is yeah. definitely what you want. And then that's all we can carry, actually. Drop it off. Unless, unless we want to get it. Unless you can drop it off on the island if you think you can take the island, but... But you can't actually pick it up. That's yeah, we can. You can take the island, so you might as well drop it on the island. You have to control it then. Yeah, so because uh, so the battle's over now, right? Yep. We get influence mm. equal to cannon. So there's, there's two, two cannons. You have okay. two influence from that card. <laughs> this island is just swapping all over the place. <laughs> two. You get a permanent cube. Permanent that is your, Oh, you just keep adding permanents. Fifth, that is your okay. fifth permanent cube. Fifth, okay. Oh, yeah, every okay. time you take control of an island, you get a permanent cube. Got it. Uh, um, we have, oh, like at this I point, if I had never gotten a permit cube on this island, it would actually be impossible for me to take that island because they've taken okay. it twice. Yeah, and then we could buy we could buy this, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Maybe. And we can move one more still if we want. We we'll move back and just put all this money into our. Yeah. Yeah. Kitty. Move back oh, here. Oh wait, so four question mark. That doesn't have to be at port anymore. That can be on any island I control. 
No, that's on ship or harbor. You can put it straight on my ship. That is awesome. You can sell it to sea, spend all your stuff to buy good stuff, and then just and then just put it right back. That is legit. Hell yes. Yeah, level four crews are awesome. All right, we're done. You are done. Okay. What does John you figure want to do? Okay. <laughs> Not everybody got a permanent cube. I didn't get a permanent cube. I haven't done you a get a permanent cube. You get a permanent cube. So this is the card I'm going to level up. I level up my purser to level two. I'm going to set my sailing to a very disappointing two. Get on my level. Oh, well. That's fine, I guess. I'm going to make four, five, six. that on this. Oh, they finished that, so... New thing here. Yeah, this, this is almost over. We're not going to spot like this again. Okay. Yeah, this would have been great earlier, but we're just yeah. too. It's too long. Too so I make late. six cargo at home. Yeah, that's good. That's just a mean card of meanness. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Uh, I should have seven a cube over here. Home. Oh, there it is here. And you you have two cards. Right. Oh, we won a battle. Three. Yeah. We almost sunk a ship too. <laughs> oh sweet. So Sorry. I, I'm I'm actually going to do this. Two, I'm going to spend nine to buy a ship upgrade. Okay. Uh, no, I'll go. I don't need that much sailing. I'm gonna go ahead and buy the cannon and the sail. We're back um, at our port, right? Yeah. That card is fully done. <sighs> We're just gonna get any points. Okay, I can now have uh, two islands produced. So I'm gonna have my current island produce. Uh, I need to swap out some of my ones. I haven't got any ship of okay. One, two, three, four. One more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, is that good? So this island's going to produce two coins, and this they island... Can. I get to produce the two islands because I have a level two cursor. Right. This island's going to produce two and two, and it's going to get another one from that. So it's actually three and two. Okay. What's, no, what's that do? Uh, I set my that sailing to three, yeah. because I have this, this, and this. Uh, this island, this card lets me produce one measly coin because I don't have it upgraded at all. Mm -hmm. um, and then I will sail the three spaces. One. Pick it up. <laughs> um, oh wait, I goofed. In my I'm gonna, sorry, I'm gonna rewind soon. slightly, guys. I'm gonna not uh -huh, level up my purser. Uh -huh. Sorry, not level up <laughs> my purser. Say hi. And I'm just gonna produce on the one island, so I don't get those two coins. Tired, though, and buddy. instead, I want to level up my gunner because that is the whole idea of this turn. Seriously, thank you, Stephen. I'm like Charlie Brown. <laughs> so I'm gonna sail one, pick up all the goodies. <sighs> we need to kill John so he doesn't get any goodies. Um, I might not be in second place anyway. I don't think I am. Two. Pretty tempted to punch that merchant ship. Punch us. Um, <laughs> Fight us. Right, I will, I will, I will punch your cubes off the island. I have two influence. Ah! And note, this is going to be my <laughs> sixth. <laughs> so no. this, this means this is the end of the, this. One more turn game. each. That's it. Uh, for everybody or just for the people? Just uh, you, you and I. You guys. Just you guys. We well, don't have in, any. The, in the spirit of, of um, not uh, playing of easy, in the spirit of not playing easy this game, I won't leave this merchant ship for you guys. I will fight it. Uh, I get three. Doesn't it refresh it after three. you? Well, no, no. If if you beat it, it goes away. Okay, three. If you if you win or lose to it, it's gonna go. Away. If if you win, you get the advancement. If you lose, it goes discard it like the other ones. How many no, but you some get? of the cards go in here though. A new card will go there, but not yeah. necessarily a merchant ship. Um, sure. I have one, two, three, four, five. To its three. Mike. I have no I have no special powers this time. Lose. I can't even see when I drop them down here. Uh, good. Are those two redrops? One black on a crown. Uh, this is. Oh, this That's is a this redrop, is a redrop, and that one's a redrop. Done. Just do the redrops. Do the redrops first. Oh, okay. Just why is there like laying there then? Yep. Just do the redrop. Okay. Oh, one, one more crown. One more redrop. Not from that high. You're supposed to drop from the height of the mast. Okay. He has an exploder, which is too bad. Yes. Uh, no, it's not a crown. Uh, I'm gonna win, but oh my <sighs> god, he almost sunk me. Look at okay. this. Two black cubes landed in double damage. If he'd won that fight, he would have sunk me. That's how that would have been, and this would have been a very bad move. <laughs> uh, it still might be. I take four damage, which I can repair one of. So I take three damage. Um, but I do win, which gets me so close to that achievement. Mm -hmm. And then I make plunder of two coins and four barrels. Two coins and four barrels. One, two, three, four, five barrels. 
Which I can't even fit, so I'll just take the coins. All right. And this goes? I have one more move, so I will sail home to hide in harbor. <laughs> after my after my ventures. I can't even sink you. And I'm done. Wait, you're purple. Right. You could sink me. You can. Thank you. It's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. I get to unload all this, so yeah, I have, I have a natural four guns on my ship, plus I might Bunch draw into stuff. I have... Oh, uh, if, if we have a coin on a ship, it doesn't count in chess towards endgame. Hmm. What? If the coin is on our ship for it endgame does. tally? At okay. the end of the game, you will score all the sh coins on your ship, and you'll actually also get okay. to score coins on islands you control. Okay. The oh, merchant okay. ship did do a lot of work. You Can get to we, pick those We have up. this. I like that. Yeah. yeah. So I've taken does my last turn. Does this mean heal everything, or... Uh, okay. Yeah, I had that in my turn. That's, <laughs> that's why I got to remove okay. it. Okay. Um, uh, uh -huh. so don't I have, have not taken my last turn of the game, two. Uh, which yeah. means my cubes are now two Check. to one to convert, yeah. and I get plus two cubes in all battles. So if you were to attack me, I would get four for the defense bonus, two for the, for the end of game bonus, and my ship just has four on it. So, so I would it. be at ten before playing my cards. Ten. It's, it's not worth it. I mean, there's theoretically, well, coins is all he can get, which is... Yeah. Just helping it would be worth it if you could sink me, but I would be dropping so many I might just sink you. Right. Yeah. Mm. There's only so many. The other thing is there's only so many cubes that can fit into the damage. <laughs> if, we, if we can sink you, that is no. If we can sink you, that is points. But if you can sink me, it's totally worth it. Three points. Take five from me. And it's three points there too. Yeah. And that. Okay. So it's a ten point. It's uh, did a you finish off or no? If you sink me. It's just it's your turn, Josh. Did you finish it? Oh, are you guys done? That was his turn. That was my turn. It's now your turn. Oh, fast. Okay. Yeah, go do something. Note, I do, I've taken my last turn, so I draw a new hand I'm buy this. in case you fight me, yeah. but I don't get to do a level up or anything. I'm, I'm just, this is just in case that. you guys attack me and I want to play cards in defense. How many cards did you draw? I have five cards. I drew five. Um, I played all my cards and I had one bonus draw, so I drew five. And I'm going to do and my this, good fight so not in two my here. Box. You're off that. I'm on. Oh, well, I got a perma cube. It's not, it's not even worth it, unfortunately. Perma cube. You no, paid, not that matters now, but... Mine? My cubes cost two influence to remove one of my cubes now, because I've taken my last turn. Oh, even... Okay, that was cannons no, only. Not. Okay, that doesn't matter then. Uh-uh. Uh, yeah, so... I can, I can so do to one. to remove one of my cubes and put one of yours I down, do it one. takes two influence flags. Which is not good enough. That's Sucks. the, that's the, uh, the um, last mover... Uh, compensation, because you know, anytime you have area control like this, there's a big last mover advantage. I have one movement for the one thing that's <laughs> uncovered. That's all I can do. Uh, so, can so we can whatever. There's two just juicy islands just totally uncared for down here. I can't get there. I'll spend the four to put four on my ship. I have room for it for the five here. I'm going to spend it immediately to put this on. Yeah. Remember advancements? Every two advancements is worth one point. So, yeah. so mm -hmm. cargo is not worth point. points. So at the end of the game, if you have a ton of cargo, just Use buy it. that achievement for two points, and or buy things with your cargo for points because it's worth a merchant. Wait, buy what achievement? There. We could try the twelve cargo for two points. If oh, spend 12, twelve. If you have a ton that. of twelve extra cargo, okay. yeah. don't I, save I mean, it. Yeah. Try to spend it. Oh, so should I be keeping track of how much I spent this turn? No, no, no. That isn't spend twelve cargo on stuff. That oh, is spend twelve cargo that. on that. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Did we level up yet? Or I don't know that. Yeah. What did you level up? A one. Wait, no, I didn't. Do um, fortifications of islands no, count towards points? That. Every building is a point. It's, cool. It's, uh, oh no, that's, that's another way to spend your cargo for, yeah. to, to make it into points. Does that matter? And ship upgrades? Uh, every basic one, which you have one of, is worth yeah. one point. Every advanced one is worth two points. Cool. This one, I guess. Well, I can't do six. Oh, it's one or the other, isn't it? We'll still be able to move two. And we own it. Okay. Own one point or one point. Oh, it's three to do it anyway. So I'll get a cargo. I don't know what port doesn't count into. The, uh, Josh did get a permanent cube at some point, I think. I've gotten a few here and there. Two. Because I couldn't get over a good... Uh, is there a bonus... You get, three, you you get, get one, bonus two. coins oh, for other things than just the uh, achievements? Like, do you get them for owning, Spend controlling the, the areas here? here yeah, yeah. So islands are worth endgame points. Okay. For first place, second place, third place. I need a house, please. I don't know what that is. Yeah. Oh, I do. I do. Jesus. This is for building. We didn't get any of that. <laughs> this is I didn't even... I didn't really when that, so if you can produce What's there, that it now produces an extra coin end barrel. 
Okay, that's so all I can do, that so play that. Okay. <laughs> hey, we're still, we're still over. Yeah. Uh, okay. I do yeah, get so, these so upgrades, end, yeah. So, in-game points, obviously everything in your chest. Yeah. Um, oh, uh, island control is points. One. Achievements are points. Oh, buildings are one point each. Because of buildings. Ship upgrades are points, and then every two advancements is one point. Oh, I guess we can. We can fight, right? Yeah. Miles, well. Is it, You're going to come for me. Is it our turn? Yeah, you can either go for him or the merchant troop. And there should be two more out here in case it's anything. Oh, yeah. You want to go here yeah. first and collect and then move over here? Or? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so All we right. have... I did not get a good last sign. We have two. Two. I ended this okay. game really fast on you guys. You don't you want to buy stuff, though? I thought I was doing better than no, I kind of stalled for a bit. The cards... It's, they're with coins. Coin. What are? Um... Cards if it was are? a table of yeah. all new players, mm -hmm. you guys would have several more That's turns probably the before this game would end. Okay. Um, um, but I, I rushed, I rushed the achievements as as is. Buy it then. Yeah. Yeah. Good strategy. Yeah. And then the best defense the is good offense. Will... Try to ramp up quickly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Knock them out. Uh, I, need I wish ones. I got one more cube over there. <laughs> yeah. We need one. You'll get the second place. One coin, one coins, please. Once. Wait, no, this is two here. Oh. What? It's, we need ones, oh, though. Oh, okay. Singular. How many? Uh, we might need a few. Uh -oh. Actually, I can just I can yeah, exchange you can, you these. Can tra trade up. Here's three ones. This is producing, this island? This one, yeah. There's yeah. Three. Oh, it is three. I'm gonna go ahead and show you. Oh, I got did a lot. You guys, did you yeah, guys have this, if you guys are at 30 I money in your chest... Oh, yeah, go ahead and trade it. You guys should double check if you're at 30 three, money, because you might have got that achievement. What's the three? 26. Oh, okay. four, huh? It's ones. Yeah, it's edge of darkness coins. Yeah. So it's Got ones, it. fours, and tens. Okay. The actual edge, the actual dead reckoning coins will be ones, threes, tens, and thirties. And then we'll move over here, and we fight the building. Yeah, we're uh, fighting the uh, bu the building. Right? Very important. Buildings give no plunder from battles. What do you mean? We don't get to roll. We'd you fight the battle as but normal, but, if we but win, none of the we could pick this up. that's correct. But none of the spots that give you plunder. Actually Why are you fighting me? And taking my stuff? Did we, we? Did you put something on here too? Yeah, one coin. No, we don't. We don't influence that one. You can still. Oh, you oh, can. You can have it generate, can't you? Oh, you still can have it generate. Yeah. 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 You're right. Okay. Um, uh, so if you guys fight the building, um, you Plural. won't get any plunder from the battle. Yeah. Right. That's okay. Just to be clear. That's okay. Yeah. It also doesn't count towards a battle win, but you're not going to get that achievement. That's okay. Wait, so why are you attacking my buildings? So you has, money on how many does yeah. it have? Five? Yeah. Okay, five. And what we juicy have... Juicy money there. Oh, that island makes two. three coins when it produces. Did you guys produce with that island? Oh, yes. Because it gets one from this, one naturally, and one from the outpost. Please oh, okay. lose. Please lose. <laughs> okay. Okay. Five, and, and we, how many do we get? Uh, two. Two. Cool. So if you, five, if you can win, they just we give you We get one crown, though. Okay, so you guys naturally just will have one battle. Yes. Story. Big battle. Ooh, yes. defense holds. Holds real good. Yes. Uh, no, it doesn't. Because we, we can, can move, move a cube. One cube to, an adjacent. Uh, to any zone or a damage adjacent. zone? But I've got, in what? Oh, one, two, three, four. Here. It's also move a cube to a damage I've zone. I've got four damage. Oh. It's not damage, that's battle strength. Battle, battle strength, strength, yeah. I've got four damage strength. Battle strength, sorry. Okay. I think I win anyway. It was a valiant effort, but the fort yeah. holds, I think. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're trying to get a bunch of coins. Cool. So Didn't you guys work. take one damage. Doesn't really matter. Yeah. So we can't try to influence it now. Nope. Aww. If they sink attacking my island, do I get a credit for sinking the ship? <laughs> oh, cool. It's not gonna happen. But okay. But yes, that would theoretically. If you had sunk that's them in that battle, that's you it. Would that's it. Count. Okay. That's all we can do. This doesn't okay. give him any coins though, because it's not on his ship he rating, can't, right? He it's couldn't just pick there. it up. Yeah. Uh, no, no. At the end of the game, you get money on your islands. You what? Get, you, you, it counts oh. towards your support score. No. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Otherwise, we wouldn't have done that. Hundred percent. You gave him three points. If that's the difference I'm, between yeah, you guys, I left you'll it know there. what. What? That's why I left it there. No, I just didn't know. Oh. Well, that's why I know. That, that's never that's why. It, so. Oh, so yeah. I know. I heard it. that's why I was fortifying the island. Yeah. Because I wanted to protect that money. Yeah. Well, no, there was only two money there originally. I wanted to protect that money. That's all I had. <laughs> that's all I got. <laughs> what else is on the board? I mean. <laughs> Yeah, I I had no other way to get uh, to it. I, well, I, I, would, I, I, I wanted those two points, so I protected it. Okay. We, yeah, sorry about that. And we can't, we can't that. buy either, though, huh? Uh, you can buy. Yeah. The oh. forge doesn't stop you from right. buying things. Just... You can spend the one. Yeah. Wait, no, we don't have we don't have a barrel. Oh, oh. You didn't bring the other one. Yeah. You, well, we can say you brought it. You brought There's it. No reason you wouldn't have brought it. 
Except that we want to fill oh. our coffers with coins. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Based on the other thing. Yeah, but it's, yeah. Not, it's not worth anything. We had to five. Okay. We only had yeah. five barrels. We had four from this one and then one from here. Rewind what? Yeah. Dang. I'm not sure what you mean, Steven. Go. Okay. That's it. Okay, it's worth, yeah, it's worth to get those because every two of those is there. a point, so. Mm hmm. All right, that's it. That's the end of the game. Yeah. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, so then we so we can run through scores now for okay. islands. So uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just dole out points for islands. Okay. Um, I control this one, right? Yes. Yeah. So I will get three points for controlling it. Um, you guys tied for a second. second. So, so in, in the case of a tie, everyone gets one tier lower, which in this case is nothing. Oh. Okay. Um, you guys win this for nine points. You can oh. give me change of one. And you get five. And I get five for Damn. second place. I should have put something there. You get four for first place there. <sighs> okay. Um, and you guys are going to get two for second place there. Thank you. Uh, I win this solo. Straight up seven points. <laughs> Uncontested. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Uh, you guys win this for six. Yeah. I got five. But you both get four instead. No, oh no, because no, there's he two. two. He's, he's two. one. He beats me, so he gets five. And then unfortunately, actually, I tie with the blank. Oh. So I tick down a notch and get nothing. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah. Um, I just solo win that one. Nothing, nothing. And you get second there for two points. Okay. Because I never fully claimed it. Because you're tied with one. the blank. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, oh wait, so we can still keep going. You have no ship upgrades. Uh, you have one one point worth of ship upgrades and okay. two points worth of buildings. Cool. You guys have no buildings either. So I just pick that up now. You can take all your money off islands. You can take all your money off boats. Okay. Um, Matter. I have two uh, second level ship upgrades for four points. Um, and then uh, achievements, which is uh, an, where I'm gonna most of you pretty much score only. I get five. Uh, Shit. Six. I score 12 points for achievements. And then finally, uh, your bonus card, your bonus token. Uh, I, I whiffed on both. Oh, so did I. No bonus no. achievements. Uh, yeah, even I though I got four achievements. This I'm putting the same thing, right? 10 in to take 10. What does that even do? Ones, oh, anyway. you know, if mean, you'd gotten that achievement, it would be worth two additional points. If okay. you'd gotten that achievement, it would be worth so, two additional. For every pirate flag and every level place. four, or is it every level four? No. What? This is if you'd gotten that achievement, it would be worth two additional points. And if you'd gotten that achievement, it would be worth two additional points. But oh, you level four? You came up short on those achievements. Oh, I needed the... Oh, I did not understand that. I yeah. thought it meant that okay, I needed cards that were level four. No. Okay. Dang it. Taking, all of us completely whiffed on those. Okay, then. I was super what close about to these? one of them. These two? two of them. But I get one for every two of these, yeah? Yes, for yes. Thank you. And then you count okay. how many advancements you have, and you will score one. these as well, babe? All of them? Yeah, yeah. One Take point for every two. Out. That's two. Three... For four and a half, so four. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five points. Um, Do we get any points? Two for points for every flame on your ship, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we get no points. Make sure you didn't have uh, level four cards. We only need two, right? One, two. There we go. Yeah. Why well, you need three? No, you need four. Right? Oh no, you need three. Yeah. One, you need. Yeah, you guys. 30, you guys both just came up short on the four 35, level. On the three level. Four. Seven. Forty. Forty-two. What are these worth? One each. One for every two. Okay. Seven. I have forty-two total. Points? Did, yeah. Did you already count these? I have not counted okay. yet, no. It'll be very close with me, us and Josh. Though. Yeah. We gave you a lot of points at the end there for yeah. no reason. You gave us like five. I think it was three. You added three points to that. You've got, 10, 20, 30, you got 40, 50, 50 already, 60, so. 60, <laughs> 70, <laughs> 80, 82. What did I say, 42? I feel a little bad 10. for going no holds barred 80. on you guys, but not that bad. We learned better. 12. So, hey. So 32. I wanted to give a demonstration of, of 43, how this game 50, can. 53 uh, points. <laughs> what this could look. 53. Uh -huh. 53 is a good score. Yeah. For your first game. <laughs> 53. When, when someone like me is raised, like well, yeah. rushing yeah. the end like that. Yeah. Um, uh, 82. Oh, okay. What did you get? 42. Uh. I was doing better earlier on, and then I kind of stalled out. 
I wasn't moving as enough, or as much as I should have. I should have been buying more upgrades and then attacking more and doing other stuff with it. If it's all, it's a 30 point difference. Not, not horrible, I suppose. Definitely a difference in um, understanding, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So there's a lot of levels of de strategic depth to this game. So so my approach in this game, strategically... We got a miss, that's five. Oh, I didn't count that. Yeah, guys, I have five more. You guys just missed a couple achievements, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You were 42, one level four 47. away from four more points. And we almost got this I had, one, too. I had 47. You were like a couple points we were one, away. We were one point away. For two more points. We, we had one on our ship, but not in the, the chest. Is that, end, no, is that end game, or...? Um, had I known, though, that he would... You. That, yeah, 30 points. Yeah, during the game. It has That's to be you have to thirty money in your chest during the game. Yeah, yeah. and it was we were we, we just decided to fight you instead of going back I think and I did. simply just having this. But yeah, you could have had two more points. Otherwise, we would have went back. We would have had this, and um, you were one card away from level four. But we were trying to get this, and, and you were one, and you were one uh, control marker, uh, yeah. one yeah. cube away from that. Yeah, so we yeah. would we've gotten five points here. We would have also control taken control of this for four more and points. Hit three achievements. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was worth doing, but uh, yeah. You didn't was, have the cards for it right at the end there. We had one card. Yeah. Just that one card that we had two two. Yeah. I rushed the end on you pretty hard. That was I think that was an eleven turn game. Um, how do you how do how do you know where these go inside the oh they have notches they have little notches and stuff I think that was eleven turn game normally first players when everyone at the table is new you're gonna see like a fourteen turn game yeah it'll take longer right? so you yeah. guys would have a full three turns to try to like get those to, to fill all that out right yeah mm -hmm. and then these just literally go inside here huh that's right yeah I was two points away from getting thirty points yeah and then it was yeah I was close there I should have yeah. checked that one. One point. I was checking it, but we were just one point away. Oof. We never actually even got any of the four tier cards. We never we never went down that area. <laughs> the four tiers are good. <laughs> um, yeah, my strategy this game was to build a fast ship, get out here, and pick up the advancements early. So I spent a little bit of time here. I got the level four crew, which let me stay out a little longer. Um, and then I was able to milk production off this a little more to get um, uh, the... Uh, Those achievements didn't matter the cargo there and a little bump off that island production. Jeez. Yeah, I, I didn't see this one here. It's still... And I played hyper aggressive battle wise. I think I had I think I probably yeah. had slightly above average luck um, in the battles, but not um, not a, nothing outrageous. What do you guys have? Fifty three? Fifty two or fifty three points. No. Okay. I had forty seven because I forgot to count that. This is ten, right? Not bad. We're reasonably close, close yeah. yeah. 20, 30, 40. Oh yeah, 53, right. 53, okay. 53. 53. Do we have, 53. Do we have questions on the feed? I yeah, don't know. I have I, my camera flipped to the other side. Yeah. Does anybody have any questions about the game or mechanics or? It does look pretty anything? fun. This game is yeah. No, I'm definitely back in this. Come on, such a quiet. Like yeah, I want this. Game. Oh, what's your highest score? Oh, good question. You, you, you can probably high, you probably score a lot higher with people that are newer. Uh, so I mentioned I mentioned a buddy of mine who might be better at this game than me. Um. My highest score ever, I, th I think, is somewhere in the 120s. Um, he scored over 140 once. At least, at least, at least, wow. I wasn't at that game. Oh, but he told me okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. That's a high scoring game. Dang. Yes. So a four, typical, four winning, a typical winning this score in this game is in the 70s, 80s, or 90s. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't know where you have your purple cubes. Uh, oh, oh the all, all the player color stuff can just go in your... How does that... Uh, oh, does Zinger like this one? Uh, yes, I think. Um, other than Space Base. And, and maybe more than Space Base. He, he says this is his favorite. So. Favorite? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Are we including but, but ship I don't want to put words in his mouth, but I, I, I have heard him use those words. So. Are we including ship in here? Yeah, yeah. ship can fit in there. Well, wow. how'd you think I'd enjoy it? Yeah, um, it does, it's kind of like a mystic veil, but with more going on. Quite and, a bit more going on. Yeah, a lot more interaction. I don't so, play this, yeah, I have played mystic veil. Yeah. When you build a card. Yep. yep. Yeah. Uh, or like add to it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. yeah, mystic veil is much more about the card building. Just the and, card and, building. And just yeah. about the card building. Yeah. 
um, and trying to build a really efficient deck with the card building. And then um, there's other actions. This has a ton of other stuff going with on. It, oh yeah. Battles as well as the oh, influence. Your token in and your, in your you can yeah, kind of play it different ways how you want, which Absolutely. is nice too. Different strategies that you can play. Like I like I you said before. You don't have to go super badly. I went super yeah, no. battle this yeah. game, but I've played games where I initiated zero battles. Like actually, the game I scored I, I scored 120 in a game before. Uh, uh, no, if you spend longer, you last week, explore more. You last can week I played a game. Cargo. I played. Yeah. A, I played a heavy economic production strategy game. I think I scored 120 points cool. um, that game without initiating a single battle. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. So I think the boxes here are just to kind of hide what's That's coming right. up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they and they count as, and they act as storage boxes storage for putting well. it away, which yeah. is a bonus. But their their in-game function is to hide what's coming. Cool. I don't want people making the decision of what to buy based on what is coming next. Yeah, yeah. it's too hard to battle. It's, just an, it's, just, just to it's an it, yeah. unfun but meaningful decision that I don't feel like. Well, if you're need actually at sea, I mean, if you're going like, to try and take on a ship, uh, yeah. you don't know what the ship has until you actually, you know, start going after it. So, yeah, yeah. It makes sense. I feel it's, like it's, 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 it's it, anybody who's probably played uh, Mr. Vale is going to get this fairly quickly. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. But it adds it adds just a different style of gameplay as well. It's definitely on the opposite end of Mystic Veil being that one solitary and you're just kind of doing your own thing. And there's a few things that interact with other players, but what you choose is mainly the important aspect. This one here not only is choosing something very important and, oh, I'm going to get that merchant ship, but I want to buy it. And then all of a sudden, well, I can't buy it, so I'm going to fight it. No, no I wanted that. <laughs> um, so it has all that kind of interaction to it as well. Uh, highly, highly aggressive. Yeah, uh, I like that. But, uh, yeah, this game is really, really, really fun. I, I really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. I, I prefer Mystic Veil vale just because I like games that are less aggressive. Sure. And I think this one just goes like this is like hyper aggressive game. It can be. I I, it. Again, again, I, I played a super hyper aggressive okay. strategy. But if you have yeah. one person in the group like Josh who would like who just likes to be like super sure. hyper aggressive, it help. reduces yeah. the amount of fun I have you for go. a game where I'm actually trying okay. to build an engine. Like I want to build this engine, yeah. but. It's it's not me stopping me. It's you stopping me. And yeah, so, so I have to try and like some people get weird that. in so, groups so like that. Yeah, if one person is being more aggressive, it's like, oh, why are you attacking me? Like I'm attacking everybody. It, it can create conflict in the group. So, so. I would I would I would counter that okay. with um, uh, if if I attack you and if I beat you in every single battle, I can't actually make your deck any worse. Right, I can steal points from you. Right, but, but I'm saying you could take cards that I want. Oh, oh, right? of, course, or, of course, we're competing or, yeah. over the shared space out here for right. in terms of the cards that we want. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, absolutely. this this only affects. Uh, well, I mean, there's a, you can gain a lot of points from fighting. In fact, you did uh, sure. gain quite. That a was points. my main strategy. This game was so a hyper, hyper aggressive battle. A ton strategy. of points from from uh, that, but there is a limitation. It's it's obviously the space. Based on um, you have to you know, move around where too. the cubes can go, and also and how the much game, space you have on your board. Like well, the game doesn't stuff, but the game doesn't let you, oh, yeah, like, you just. There's a point at which anybody. diminishing returns, right? Like you, you, you're, you're so effective that you actually aren't be able to get all the benefit that, that you could. Yeah. Well, also the game doesn't let you attack anybody anytime. You have to have the, you know, the, right the card the, to do yeah. it. Yeah, that's right. So, so it, has, it has the aspect of Mystic Veil, which is obviously what I really enjoy, is deck building, but yep. also you have the crafting um, mechanism in it as well. So I enjoy that. And I don't mind aggressive games. Like It's not something I would say I don't want to play it. It's just I have to be prepared sure. for, oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, sure. depending on the group, what people are doing. Because in you know. general, I'm always just like, I want to do the thing over <laughs> here, when and you, you think, but... are stopping me. So now I just want to go ham on you. <laughs> so like, like, yeah. like, if I can't win, neither can then you. you. Yeah. I do and that, too. I, I get like that. I guess it's a <laughs> no, sore, I, sore losing You and player. I do that both, so, yeah. <laughs> sore losing players, I call it. Yeah. Not a sore loser, because I'm losing. So while I'm losing, <laughs> during the process, I'm going to take you yes, with me. I'm like, fine. You've attacked me twice and took the three items I want. In the very here, we of the both game. go. Now it's on. <laughs> now it's on. But Michael, you're not winning anymore. I don't care. Don't care. Nope. I've lost you're not it. either. <laughs> you've made you've made it to the point where now fun is just making sure you're you're dissatisfied. <laughs> Schroeder, you probably take it over. With you? So, yeah. so maybe I shouldn't have gone hold, all holds no holds barred on this one on you. Yeah. Uh, well, I was really both, I was really playing. Play like that, so. I'm, I'm just kidding. Well, you have the means to attack you back much, so. Um, well, it's, some of it comes down to luck for your draw too. It's good to see the different point spread too for newer players in comparison to something that's been playing a bit or made the game right <laughs> so like learning that is useful as well as, well as you know obviously mm -hmm. people get the game now they have it, some some new strategies as to if they watch this video uh, what's a good move compared to what's a bad move and like i look back now it's like there's plenty of options. moves that i would have definitely Changed. taken back yeah. and not even just the last move that, that was the most biggest blunder 
Um, but there is a few of them that are like, oh, I should not have done that. I should have went over here. Sure. It was high risk, high reward. And also, <laughs> yeah. it was. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. Um, but there was a little things like learning about how these can give you points. So that's yeah. a ton of points at the end oh, of the yeah. game. Nine, oh, holy crap. Is yeah. Is yeah. Highly is highly competitive. Um, maybe we would have just moved around to the bottom there and just actually dropped that. cubes that up. just in every area. Maybe yeah. just one cube and save it. These, these Six, had no four, cubes yeah. on yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. So, no scored anything off those two islands. So that, yeah. that, was, so far away. that was like tw- 11 point, eight, nine, eight, 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 what is it? Seven, seven. eight, nine, seven yeah. ten points in the very bottom. Seven, uh, ten points for one card What's each? coming up for Space Base and when? <laughs> What's coming up for Space Base? Um, I'm working on uh, two... An expansion. Two expansions. Uh, one is a micro-expansion. Um, uh, the working title, and maybe the final title, is called Biodomes. Um, uh, it gives you alternate colony cards um, that you you set, you set seed your, your normally 12 colony cards. You seed with six random other colony cards and then fill in the holes for with the regular ones. Uh, and they come with special powers. What expansions are there? I know there's Shy Pluto. That was the one we played last. And and then just Command Station, when which did is that like come out? which is like the big box holder and 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 gives you enough content to play up to seven players. Mm-hmm. Is that a new? Is that new? Yeah, it's the more recent one. So it it just comes. What does it have with it other than just uh, up to seven players? So it's just two players plus big box. It's a, yes, and uh, it comes with. Um, it comes with more dice, so everyone can have their own dice to roll. Yeah, yeah. That's just kind of so. There's just no, kind of bling, there's no new content. It just increases the player count and also provides more space for Shy Pluto That's and right. new expansions coming out. That's right. Yeah, I've noticed. I actually have so I've got Mystic Veil and one or two other expansions, and I have the um, what's it called the Conclave. No, 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 not the yeah. expansion. I have the thing from this is in the box that you San Diego company makes. <laughs> oh, oh, broken token. Thank broken you. Token. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Please have help me. Great part. Broken token for conclave. I have the broken token for the. Oh, that's the nice. big. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the conclave. Broken big token. one. I don't yeah. have the big one, so I have. Oh, I you can... have the one for the regular box. Yeah, because yes. we okay. won it. Well, I, so. uh, I, I we have the broken token for the big box, but I don't own the big box. I own the small box, and then oh, I have all the expansion. So I'm, I've been like sitting there, like with wanting to put this together but it actually goes into the the large box is that conclave is, is that the yep. one yeah. it goes into conclave and i don't have conclave so i'm sitting there like should i just buy like, conclave just to Amazon put this in there like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like i have to buy the game just so i can actually use conclave, my insert conclave makes sense once you're up to about four expansions also i would say okay. yeah um i think there's seven expansions for mystic veil now and conclave makes sense wow. once you get to the once you have about four of them really yeah. yeah, in terms in terms of the extra many. storage <laughs> box. Yeah. 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 Um, the question. I just is, have the, the broken token though, so I was just like, ah, yeah. I want. I just before, it's just I, before here. I forget, the question was on yeah. space base. There's um the second expansion I'm working for space base is another saga expansion, so it's um it's gonna uh, have the same approach as um shy Pluto in the sense that uh, if you want to, you can just mix everything in right away. But if you want to, if you want to, you can play through the. Uh, sort of light campaign mode that sort of highlights each of the new features and new cards in the game mm-hmm. as you go through the campaign. A uh, little narrative story campaign with A little it. bit of legacy kind of. Yeah, it kind of highlights all the new stuff, stuff in the expansion yeah. and lets you kind of play with that before just shuffling and mixing it in. Uh-huh. Um, there'll, there'll be new cards in that expansion and um, uh, one new game system. Um, uh, sort of like how Shy Pluto had a game, new game system at it. Um, uh, in the grand finale of that little campaign, there'll be a, there'll be another new game system in this one. Um, I don't want to spoil too much more, but that's yeah. cool. Um, there is we'll, we'll be here for what times right now? Make sure not we're not over overstaying. It is nine thirty. Okay, so, so we're like we're hitting it right yeah. now. If there's any last questions you want to ask John while he's here, does again I don't see him very often except on a couple podcasts and and streams. <laughs> now is the opportunity to ask him. He's made quite a few games. Uh, pretty much all of his games I've enjoyed thoroughly. In fact, mm-hmm. a couple are on my top top 15 20 games so ask him some questions about about the games maybe he's he's done pre, uh, previously or anything that really did the hobby i think you will uh learn quite a bit and, and if, you, if you have specific dead reckoning questions um i'm paying close attention to the kickstarter comments and um and trying to pay attention to the uh, questions on bgg about gameplay also um so if i see your question there if you think of it later um i'll try to answer how it. big is the box dead Re- reckoning going to be it's, it's this big um this and is go ahead and it's, this is focused big. solely on you right now so you can actually set it set oh, right okay. in front of you yeah, yeah. And so this is this is the this is the actual size um that the base box will be um 
Uh, it Josh, is can you go ahead and grab? It's uh, smaller than it's, Edge of Darkness. It's a lot. It's a lot smaller than Edge of Darkness. <laughs> edge of Dark, it's on my t- counter. I'm it's not, a lot smaller than Edge of Darkness. This we'll is, compare it. For for reference, this is the size of a Blood Rage box, um, or or within millimeters of one of. Uh, yeah, it's very similar size to what, what, yeah. what I would say a an average base game for a Simon game. Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a little bigger than a Ticket to Ride box, Uh-oh. but not a lot bigger than a Ticket to Ride box. <laughs> you stepped on the cord, probably. We lost the light. Right? Yes. Well, just plug it back in okay, instead we'll... of sitting there looking like that. <laughs> I wasn't sure what to do. Plug it back in. Big ass heavy box there. It's okay. Put awesome the thing down. And good to go. Plug it in. <laughs> okay. Good and then we're good to go again. You guys want to. So, as a reference for those of you. This was the Edge of Darkness box, which is not small. We're digging oh, it's a big, heavy box. It's, yeah. it's enormous. Very meaty. Um, uh, and a bunch of stuff came in that game. A whole bunch of stuff is coming in this, um, uh, uh, but it fits in a much smaller box. Um, on the Kickstarter, there's two price points. There's a $79 price point, which you get what you what, what, what was played here, um, and you get this box. Um, uh, again, some of the, a lot of this stuff is prototype-ish. Um, uh, at yeah, least the it's, second it's... the second tier on the Kickstarter is one hundred and nine dollars, where you get again this box, the normal box, um, plus you're going to get the first. Uh, we're going to reveal more stuff you get, but if you go in there now, um, what you'll see that you get is uh, the first ex- expansion, which is a saga expansion. Um, so it's going to kind of remind you of how I did it in Shy Pluto, but I actually do it a little differently here. It's a little bit more organic how you discover stuff mm. and less scripted. Um, but you're going to discover the new content via playing the game. Uh, and it's going to infuse and expand your game as you play over several games. Um, included in that expansion is cam- is a campaign mode. Um, this is prototype quality. It's just a very high... Um, it's yeah. a very close to... Dicked it's out. close, is what we call it. Like yeah, It's so, almost there. So um, I, I, I talked about it a little bit while we were playing, but I can go through it now. Um, what you're seeing here is very close to... is, is largely close to done. Um, two things to point out. These fancy tokens are just me blinging out my copy. Um, the actual game has wooden um, tokens, but they're still going to be wooden, wooden barrels. Wooden barrels. They're, they're not going to be wooden, gonna be wooden cubes, barrels. Yeah. Not not the not these ceramic sculpted ones. That's me blinging it out. The ship here is going to be connected to this thing here, and it'll probably be slightly different, but less tape on it. And <laughs> yeah, so the ship we've got some tweaks to do to make it so we don't have to use tape, um, mm-hmm. but it's close to done. The artwork on that is not done though. Ian Ian O'Toole, who's doing the art for the game, has um, actually finished it since that was done, and he and he and it's sharper. Mm-hmm. It's it's better looking. You'll see the better looking version on the Kickstarter. So this already looks pretty good, but um, <laughs> uh, but we he wasn't quite done it when we had to print the copies. Um, uh, the base box does not have metal coins. Um, I guess this is a spoiler, but maybe it's obvious. There will be an add-on on the Kickstarter for metal coins. Oh yeah. Um, uh, which isn't up yet, but it will be. Um, these metal coins are just Edge of Darkness metal coins, um, uh, but they don't come standard in the game. There will be an add-on. Everything else here you Very see... Very similar. I mean, I'm guessing that these are probably going to be... Uh, is it going to be the exact same size of sleeves and everything as far as these guys yeah, go? Yeah, yeah, So everything else here you see is either the same or will be better uh, than what you see here in the final version. Yeah. Uh, like, again, these are going to have the player seal on them, and they're a little bit more... The design is a little bit oh, more colorful and, color. and popping. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Um, these sleeves... Are actually going to be real opaque sleeves. Yeah, um, we didn't. We didn't actually have sleeves. enough opaque sleeves, and we got some made. But these actually just have stickers on the back um, <laughs> that I had to sticker for these copies. <laughs> um, uh, and there's some other things like the ship, like like we talked about. Um, uh, but but all of that. But this is pretty pretty close. Uh, uh, yeah, that's a good question. Go ahead. What was our question? Do we have to break down the ship to put it away? No, uh, I can actually show you um, the ship. So we have we have we've thought about the storage for this game in a um, in a it, hopefully intelligent way. Hopefully you guys will agree intelligent way. Uh, the ship goes in this box, so it's protected in the in there, and you don't have to disassemble it. You just have to assemble it. You you will have to assemble it the, the first, first time. The first time, but not uh, people like assembling times. the first time. It's just after yeah. the first time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And we've seen that with other components where the cardboard, the edges kind of... Start fraying. Yeah, as, yeah, yeah. And yeah as you, you put it together and take it off every forth. time. So yeah. if you guys did That's enjoy great. this That's and good. you want to pick it up, well, yeah. if you already back... I know quite a few people who are watching the stream <laughs> have backed it. I don't and, know if you... Sh- thank you guys. Did you guys... Did you sure. sh- did AEG show this out or something like that? I didn't I, know I, I really uh, Vla- sure. Vlad yeah. was on and he's and he's mm-hmm. worked there so uh, I don't know if he did but I, I, I saw that's, a safe, did, that's yeah. a safe assumption yes he I think did. He did. He, yes I saw Vlad in the comments yep. section so okay I, I imagine there's some people 
pre-backer or uh, pre-backers who already previously backed the game. Mm -hmm. And for you guys, thank you for watching and watching the show and watching Unfiltered Gamer. If you like this and you want to see more stuff, we do it every Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. PST. Um, new designers and everything. We'll have next week, we'll have um, Eric Price uh, from Jap Anime Games is bringing us some um, uh, giveaways for uh, oh, well, Cowboy Bebop. And Ooh. some other cool stuff. Nice. Yeah, those are the Cowboy Bebop deck builders, something like that. We'll I'm going to try and get him on the comms and see if we can have a, yeah. a pretend version of him. We actually have John here, obviously. <laughs> he's closer. He lives up in LA, so northern LA. So he's mm -hmm. this is not not too far of a drive. He's been here a couple of times. We've we, yep. we've seen him many times now. Uh, but for people who are a little farther away, we actually get him on the computer and we put we put them there, <laughs> and they'll so you can ask him some questions from Jap Anime Games Eric Price. So that that'll be pretty cool, and uh, uh, appreciate that, and appreciate you. We uh, got some other giveaways from John here and from AEG, and we'll be giving those out sporadically. Um, but the first one here is obviously Mystic Veil. This is was this your first game or no? So this is my second published game. Um, my first published game uh, was um, a little actually like real time card battle kind of kids game yep. that no one in the hobby has ever heard of. Okay. Um, so this is the first game I designed that anyone has heard of. So that's will be the same thing with Callie, though. Yeah. Her first game yeah. is the yeah. South of the Sahara game, but most people are probably going to know her from Moonshot, provided we don't screw it up. I'm quite proud of that first game. I think that game is a lot of fun, but it's it's a turnoff to a lot of gamers because of the like real-time frantic nature, but I, mm. I'm, I like I'm, that. I'm proud of that design. I like that game. Awesome. Um, I, don't, I, I got nothing two, else for no, you guys. Two questions from the stream. Either the, um, two boxes for the Day Reckoning or the 109 pledge is two boxes? Question mark. Uh, so the $79 pledge is just this box. Um, uh, the 109 pledge, uh, as is currently on the Kickstarter, again, more reveals are coming, and I don't um, want to get in trouble with AG and spoil too much. No. Um, but uh, uh, as it, it currently stands, it is, it is this box um, plus... Um, uh, the Saga expansion, which comes in a separate separate box. Everything is subject um, to change or mm -hmm. increase mm -hmm. and potentially even decrease. I mean, you, you, depending on pledges, it just depends. depends. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got we've got they're doing a daily reveal um, on the Kickstarter, um, uh, which is revealing um, uh, rather than rather than stretch goals, um, uh, we've basically decided what we want in the game, um, and we're just gradually revealing the cool stuff as we go. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, and those reveals are going to include things that get added to the $79 pledge and the $100 pledge, things that only get added to the $109 pledge, and then add-ons, which would uh, which be an additional purchase on top of whichever pledge you get. Very cool, though. I personally really enjoyed yeah. it. Callie said you enjoyed, yeah. she enjoyed it. Blast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had a good time, even though... John once again showed no mercy. <laughs> yeah, no I, mercy. I prefer yeah. playing like that because I learn better then. So, yeah. Yeah. all right, good, good. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching uh, John Cremas. If you voted for somebody else that wasn't him, obviously you lost Sucks. miserably. <laughs> I did not expect to win. We tried, um, but I hoped to take second. And, and then they I did. stopped playing, and then she played, and she took second. She so I'll, I'll, we I'll, took second. Yeah, baby. I'll, I'll qualify. <laughs> um, my strategy was. Was a strategy okay. of some type. <laughs> I did get a little bit unlucky early on when I found two just open water tiles. I was trying to find more islands. I would have liked to have locked up more islands there. That would have helped, especially getting more points at the end game. Have you not played this game fully? Like, I've seen a playthrough online in any way? Because uh, I know there's some reviews out. I saw the reviews. Have I? Oh, oh this you... is the first time. Um, I, I think this is the first time I've been on camera playing the game. Has anybody been on playing a game yeah, fully so, through? Yeah, there's a bunch of them. Um, just off the top of my head, John Gets Games did, a f did his playthrough. Um, where he teaches while playing. Mm -hmm. um, uh, there's a number. Um, um, uh, Ro Rolling Solo has been doing um, a playthrough, which was also kind of showing the solo rules. Um, which which note comes the solo rules come standard in the seventy nine and the hundred dollar pledge. Cool. Um, uh, I know there's I know there's That's others. Okay. And then you there's don't, a bunch you don't of, need to promote any other, more of them. Of them. <laughs> there are, are there are yeah there are full plays out there. Yeah. Well, well, we'll put this up on we'll put this up on YouTube. We'll watch ours. And, we'll go if, ahead and if people are asking up. about it, have them watch ours. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Uh, of course. Yeah. All right. Uh, also, we'll we'll announce the winner for the giveaway tomorrow. Uh, well, t it'll be the night after everything gets finished, uh, unless I pass out. It'll be early, uh, early tomorrow, 11, 11 to twelve. And all you need to do is like, share, and comment on the video. So most of you guys have already done that. So I appreciate it. Yeah. Good night. Thank you so much, guys. I got nothing else for you. Is anything else you want to say? Stay safe. Yeah, wear stay masks. safe, wear masks, mm. yeah. social distance, just like me. <laughs> <laughs> Cover my face here. All right.
Um, so what we do at the end of the stream, I don't know if you've done this or not before, but at the end we go, all right, guys, thank you for watching. As always, looking forward to seeing, seeing you guys, guys next, next time. time. We all do it together. Looking forward to seeing you guys next time. Yeah, I say looking forward to, and then you go, seeing you well, guys Oh, next that's time. all I need to remember? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Seeing you guys point. next time. So I got to yep. move over here. <laughs> ah, now, we didn't do any music. I usually like to do an intro to with music and outro, but... No, no, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, you got it? Good, well, I don't think I can afford it currently. Uh, yeah, it, I mean, these games are expensive. Especially the good ones. Yeah, like, I mean, mm -hmm. high, well, I like this. A lot ones, of but. stuff, a lot of content. Yeah, the, the 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 this is an expensive game to make. Um, mm -hmm. Turns out, plastic cards. And it's one of the reasons you don't see a lot of. It's good. It's one of the reasons I don't think you see a whole lot of games um, doing card crafting, or a lot of companies doing card crafting other than AG at this point. Plastic cards are expensive to make. They're a lot more expensive than regular cards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it's just it's just part of the reality of doing this. Yeah. yeah. I mean. I mean, really, it's this is a luxury item that you know you have to Ooh. factor in as entertainment. Yeah. And you can only get so many. There's so many games out there, and I don't recommend you specifically pick any game up usually, except for this one. <laughs> but in general, no. <laughs> in general, I just say you know, <laughs> you, you, whatever catches your eye. Yeah, you're interested in. All right, guys, thank you so much. And as always, we look forward to seeing See you guys, guys next, next time. time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you close on Facebook so the extra saves. We'll see.